Feeling like I'm on the run Live every day just the same This rock star with no fame The way it is for everyone God knows that if I try I might be able to get by Get by as one of normal ones But take me back home to Boston Back where I know where I belong Back where the days they seem the same For some home cooked food. Well, the people they turned away. Yeah, they had nothing to say. The man I thought it was kind of rude. Well, maybe if I was their kid, they might just let me in and put me in the right kind of mood. Take me back home to Boston Back where I know where I belong Back with the days they seem the same And everyone knows your name Back where I know that I'm home The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Coming to you live from Studio 5, high atop the Meadowbrook Building in Metro West Massachusetts, it's the Wicked Pisses Show. Hello, good evening. It is show number... 53. Thank you very much. I'm Byron. I'm Bamba. And you're listening to the Wicked Pisses Show. Today's date is the 7th, correction, the 8th. Of July, it is eight eleven in the PM. One of the earliest shows we've done yet. Wow! Yeah, right. everything is working. Yep. I'm just waiting for the lightning to strike. <laughs> so it very well could happen. Oh, it definitely. I got the I got the headphones on sideways. But uh, I have to give a shout out to first up on the uh, the chat room. Oh, sure. Chase from well, the Turning Point. Yeah, he's he's still he was uh, the first one. In, well, he's still with us. Who knows? Uh, uh, yeah. First one to write on the message. Yeah, uh, Gizzard jumped in, and the big dog's on now. 
see, uh, I don't know if you caught it earlier. I caught uh, Gidrid's wonderful jump, skydiving. You did that today? No shit. Yeah, yeah. And, did, uh, did, did Gizzard's Lizard make it okay? It made it. Uh, you know, free fall or anything, didn't bounce off the ground, so it's good. You know, people do bounce. <laughs> they do. Well, they, they will talk about it afterwards. Yeah. So. Usually they bounce. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. How's the sound out there, folks? You know, it's always the challenges to, uh, yeah. for whatever reason, every time we just turn it on and off, everything's different. So. I know. Well, we got a little update on what's going on with Studio 5. Which is what? Well, all oh, your little friends. We've got. Uh, I'm putting the holes in the walls. Yo, yeah, yeah. No, they're not chickens. No, they're not birds. Apparently, we have some little mice. little critters running across the floor. Freak the living fuck out of me! I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm a pretty brave guy. I, uh, ah. I've stared down some people three times my size. And they didn't, uh, I didn't flinch. Uh, Yet this mouse came across and I almost took out my, my kitchen I was going to say that. You, you started screaming like... Uh, a little girl. Or more like that, uh, the woman on Tom and Jerry, you know. When, uh, oh, Lord, help me. Yeah. Oh, Lord, help me. Uh, yeah. And so uh, Black Dog pointed out that Gizzard didn't pee his pants or on the instructor, so that's a good thing. So, Patty Cakes, what's up, kid? See you out there. Tiger Lily's on with us. I going saw on, Tiger Lily. her do the uh, Wi-Fi extender test today. Oh, did she really? Okay. Yep. Nice. Looks good. A couple areas are at little dead spots, but that's where we'll put, like, if Frank actually comes with us, we'll put Frank in the dead spot. No? Maybe? No. You're not going to get him to go with you if you talk like that. Oh, he'll come along. He doesn't even <laughs> listen to this show. No. <laughs> It'll be the one show he calls in. Oh, yeah, yeah, this oh. is awful. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I did catch uh, Rich's uh, broadcast uh, Periscope of Gizzard's Jump today. It was pretty good. Quite a few people checked that out. Um, and I heard a bunch. The basic jump, nothing dramatic, uh, no urine, no feces flying around. Steaming <laughs> feces. Right, yes. Uh, no, it was... Uh, I, I would I probably would have joined in earlier had I been up to it. Uh another thing that I'm dealing with myself here is a little bit of vertigo. Yeah. It's basically like in, having the bed spins but all the time. Ooh. God it sucks. Without any of the fun with the booze. At least when you fall down you laugh when you're drunk. True. true. When you're sober, you're hitting door jams and stuff like that. Yeah, you can't drive. You can't do nothing. I tried. I looked down the stairs, and it, it was like a scene out of a shitty movie. It's always fun for to spin around the bed, but not the way you're not talking. Not the way I'm talking, man. Um. Give me some beer first, man. <laughs> uh, the do, 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 do. I saw something. Yeah, uh, Black Dog said we are gearing up for the shanty show. Absolutely. Uh, I think we're gonna. Uh, we should dub this one. The Bates Motel Shanty Blast. Oh, I'm kind of liking that. Yeah. Bates Motel Shanty Blast. That's what it's going to be. Um, and so it's going to, uh, we are scheduled to go ahead with this on Saturday the 15th. Uh, it is an invite only, so if you weren't invited by the Bates, You're uh, screwed. you can't come. Yep. <laughs> you can watch oh. us on Periscope. You can listen to us on Spreaker, but you can't be there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the- I do need Patty Cakes to uh, send me the address that we'll be going to. I, I don't know if she did or not already on uh, Twitter or not. But um, let me know. Uh, let me know where we're going. That would help. Um, unless we want to do it from the car and we'll drive around and wave us down. <laughs> well, it would be par for the course for our show starting 20 to 30 minutes late because hmm. we didn't know where we were going. So she's sitting in her shanty now. Uh, gonna probably having a drink, I guess, right? Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to that. It's gonna be a great show. Uh, I believe that Mr. Bates will be doing some jamming for us. I'm not sure. No if, shit. Um, but uh, there'll be a, a few musically inclined people there. So maybe we could just get a, a little impromptu jam session going. That would be nice. That would be nice. Maybe by then. Will sometime, you please not sing? I won't sing, I promise okay, you. Okay. I, I can't do that. I only sing on Chase's show at Turning Point. 
Uh, I didn't last night, though. I don't think I did. I don't think so. But no. no. Um, but I think uh, we'll, maybe sometime during the course of the week we can get you the microphone you've been talking about. Um, really? And we could use that for the audience slash the impromptu jam session. Yeah. Because uh, it's got a lot of pickup. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it would go well. That's a new noise. Yeah, look at my phone. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm trying to set it up so we, the Skype will stay on, but that doesn't seem to happen. No, it never um, does. So, and if it closes, then I won't know if someone calls or not. Piece of shit. Um, but yeah, it'll be. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. That should be a good time. Um, she apparently also has a very large uh, iguana. You'll see that in the videos. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can eat something out of your ear or something. Hey, get some of them there. Uh, <laughs> little loving. Ear nuggets out of there. Oh, what's wrong with you, man? Oh. But, yeah, we'll be jamming hard. <laughs> we'll be jamming hard. And, uh, hopefully, I uh, believe uh, Black Dog's going to try to give us a call as well. That nice. Night. Yep, that would be great. Uh, and I'm going to try to get Hubert a call. I'd like to have Hubert call and. Uh, mm. Yeah, uh, Patty Cakes is going to be the official guest host, co-host for that night. Really? Yeah. So um, that's another big thing for everyone listening. Uh, Patty Cakes will be the, uh, the special official guest, guest? official guest co-host. Seeing as though we're, we're guesting it, there. Well, that makes sense, right? Sure. So, um, but if you can pet my lizard. Oh, oh right. Oh shit. Oh. There were some things I had, but now that I'm using the phone, fucking Skype with us where all my notes are as well. That's not working off of me, too. Well, don't you have, uh, you put it through Keep, right? Uh, no, I don't know if I did it or not. Try it up on the screen there. Yeah, I'll try it's, it. it's, it's the 21st okay. century. We have, I know, I know. We have computers that turn on. God damn it. And stay on. Ain't you know nothing? We do more than play solitaire. Sometimes. It. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, I know. Uh, 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 there were... There were if you missed it, in case you missed it, let's uh, we just pull something up here real quick. Do 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 do, and it's over here. Oh, patty cakes! We are too. You just we were just containing ourselves for this right now. That and also we're on our first beers, so yeah. This bump it doesn't. Taking the country by storm. The Black Dog Radio Show. Radio show. Because once you go black, you never go back. Natural. Excellent. Uh, but I just want to thank play you, that, Cartwell. Play that intro as I go into this. Uh, if you missed it yesterday, the Black Dog Radio Show was on. They had another great show. Uh, one of the things they talked about were uh, uh, like signals from women flirting, signs of uh, interest and whatnot, uh, things of that nature. It was a great show. Very good show. Um, I definitely have to yeah, yeah get this should. one up and running t- uh, later tonight. Yeah, it'll be it's a good uh, good one to fall asleep to. You'll be laughing. Uh, but that was a great one. If you missed out the uh, in case you missed it, uh, it was the Black Dog Radio Show last night. You can catch it on Spreaker dot com. Just look it up, the Black Dog Radio Show, and you'll see last night's episode and all previous episodes as well. Uh, they did hit their number one hundred. Show that was last night. Yeah, it was last Son night. Son of a bitch! I was looking to. I wasn't working either. Yeah. I well, I mean, technically, yeah. I, I did do a turning point. Right. They had their first turning day. <laughs> uh, apparently, they were doing the the similar format as us, picking random days and going live. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll go do. We'll do it live. I think it's best. You know, I like uh, mix up. Uh, you know, especially with our schedules, oh, it's God. just the way it is. You know, life's a bit shallow. Oh. Um, but it works out for us. So, um, but, yeah, it was uh, a great show. If you missed it, definitely catch it. Uh, also, I only caught a little bit the other night. Uh, I, I still have to finish it up. Um, oh, late night with Mr. Ed. Always great conversation with him and uh, his significant other, Jen, there. Uh, oh, man. Uh, yeah, she is. She let loose on him again? Uh, she She's another one that needs her own, uh, like, a, a 15 <laughs> minutes of... Uh, of just shooting the shit, you know. I just I'm here in uh, our own uh, Kelsey is uh, is working on yes. something too. So, well, uh, if she's in the room, she can uh, chat that one out. Yep, 
Yeah, if she could, uh, if she wants to give us a call, that'd be great. Yeah, uh, we could do that. And too. folks, you can give us a call tonight. Um, seven, Only one at a time. Yes, yes. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, Allie may call. Allie, if you're calling, if you're going to call, keep that in mind. You're the only one who can call. Um, unless if, uh, well, we could try having you call through Facebook soon. Oh, I can see how well that worked. Yeah, out. but we'll, we'll give it a shot, I guess. I can't hear it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, if you want to give us a call, the number is 774-314-7044. I'm going to leave that to the professional over there. 774 yeah, 314-7044. Uh, we got to find it. We'll just put that right in the headlines. We'll find this. Um, and as long as Byron didn't push any buttons like he always does, um, <laughs> just saying that he makes like he looks right at the board. What? What do I do? Hey, hey, yes, oh. <laughs> hey, we got a call. Hey, now he's not ringing. That's great. That's what I wanted. Hey, now you're on the black uh, black dog. <laughs> really? You're on the Wicked Pistol Show. Who is this? What? Hey, Gizzard. Gizzard, what's oh, up? So brother? you're feeling right at home with the Black Dog Radio Show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's going What's on, man? Do you have a good time with your jump I today? I'll tell you about my jump today. Yes, yes. Oh, my God. It was one of the most amazing things I've done in my life. What, what was we, the height? We jumped from 14,000 feet. Oh, wow. Nice. And it was a lot easier. I mean, I went tandem. I've never jumped before. So the, uh, the tandem jumper was a female. She taught me everything she needed to wow. know or what I needed to know. And then we went up in the flank. That's excellent. That was that would be the only problem that I would have. Just some other guy's junk pressed against me while I was jumping. So well, you didn't have and that. There are a few of them. That, yeah, there's a few that do that. There's a few guys. So, oh, not but, that there's uh, anything wrong we, with that, but uh, no, 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 not that there's anything. I'm wrong. I'm liking a junk less jump. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we free fell for sixty seconds. Wow, which covered eight eight thousand five hundred feet. Ooh. So I timed. I worked, worked it out on the calculator. It was 141 miles an hour. Wow, that that was that. That's that that that's like some of the trip that I took uh, that we took out to see you guys. Was yeah, right. Yeah, was I mean, there uh, at any point was there like any type of nervous or panic in there though? I mean, at what point were no, you? Not com- really. Were you comfortable from the, like? At what point were you comfortable from the get go or? Right from the get go. Now, of course. Once we left the plane, there's that, you know, you get that breath going, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. And then, but after that, it was just unreal. Yeah. I got to, I got to pull the ripcord myself. Nice. So she, she showed me where it was on the back and everything. I had an altimeter, and she uh, uh, said, okay, when we get down to 50 foot, between 6,000 and 5,000 feet, pull the ripcord. <laughs> so we got down to 5,500, and I pulled it. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, man, when that shoe comes out, it takes you up about another 100 feet. Oh, wow. You feel that force? <laughs> you feel that force hard? Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. And, uh, you know, she did some wild turns with me. Uh, she let me do the controls of the parachute till we got down. Nice. But, like, these wild uh, right turns, left turns. Uh, she actually almost got us stopped in midair by pulling down on the cords. <laughs> so it was like you were sitting down to nothing. Oh, it, that is awesome. Just, just an amazing day. I wanted to do this all my life, and all I can tell you is what, what a rush! It's an unbelievable rush. So definitely worth it. I, I've thought about it, but I'm just, I don't know. I, I just, I picture myself screaming like a little girl the whole time. I don't, I, you know. I, I, my big question is, now I was going to do the jump off of the uh, stratosphere in Vegas. Yeah. But yeah, that's your it, type oh, of thing. That, you yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. your type of thing. I'm not really up. It Like, what he did it interests me, but at the same time, I just don't know if I could handle it. What what came up was the money. Yeah. That was the big issue. Now, if you don't mind me asking, roughly around how much does that cost? Uh, with the video and photo package I bought, it was $337. <sighs> and you 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 got so about it what? It was 299 for the jump, the tandem jump by itself. Yeah. All right, I take that back. Two, like two thirty nine. So, okay. Well, I mean, I guess it, you, if you're gonna go, go big, right? Yeah, that's what I did. Right, exactly. You know, it's not something you do often, so it's not. 
it's expensive, but at the same time, it's not outrageous considering that it's not something you do quite all the time. Although some right. people do. I mean, then obviously it's a pretty expensive hobby. Um, but well, yeah, there are a lot of rich people cool. out there. Yeah. Not, none of whom listen to our show. But <laughs> uh, I'll be honest with you, though. If it came up, I'd do it again. Yeah. Now, how how yep. many times they, they were talking about it? Uh, I forget. Somebody mentioned oh, you guys last night. But anyway, talking about how many times is it until you can jump by yourself? Uh, a total of 25 jumps before you can be licensed. Wow. So the first three are all tandem. And then they start pushing you out a little bit further into the advanced free fall classes uh, where you start. Uh, they're still holding on to you as you're coming down. Yeah. And eventually they, they move away and let you do it. But it's a total of 25 jumps. Wow. That, now, yeah. would, would that be something you'd ever want to be interested in, in being, going solo? I, I, I would consider it. I don't know that it's something I would do. Yeah. You know, but it's, I just can't, I just can't tell you enough. You know, with Rich and Jill down there, or uh, the big dog and uh, yeah. the lovely wife down there periscoping it while I was coming down, and just the weather looked beautiful. Ride, though. That's all I can say. Uh, was the weather good, weather yeah. good? And was it not? Was it cold up there? That is another question. When you first get out, is it chilly, yeah. cold, or yeah? It's about six it was, grand. It, it was jumps. about. Hmm. It was it, the weather was like seventy something when I jumped. Yeah. Up there, it was about fifty something. Oh. Boy, that'll that, that's a nut shriveler there. <laughs> well, yeah, and it's um, funny because they tell you when they strap on the harness and everything, they go, "Now we're going to be touching areas that are private areas." She goes, <laughs> "We're just making sure that the uh, harnesses are on." Yeah. I said, "Do what you got to do." She goes, "If you're in pain, this thing isn't on right." Uh, and I go, "I'm not in pain, believe me." <laughs> now remember, there's good touching and there's bad touching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Well. And honestly, to find to find the golf ball for the parachute, uh, she goes, "Now you're going to put your hand on my leg and run run your hand up to find the golf ball." <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> That's <laughs> not it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. I, I know I know you guys got your show to do, but I thought I'd give you a quick call, let you know how. I it appreciate went. that, man. I watched that, and I, I I thought, like I said, I I it's something that's always been in the back of my mind, something that interests me. But then it's like I, I, I'm like terrified of those that height you know i mean i would just scream like a woman the whole time but i've always i guess been intrigued with that factor of <laughs> free falling pictured bump up all right ah, high pitched scream yeah. you just, you just from a distance you're like look at that that, that spot that's got to be him yeah what's that noise what's that high pitched noise yeah, from five thousand ah. feet fuck you byron yeah. <laughs> uh but you know that what the, the part that does interest me and what you probably like the most was that Free falling, basically, right? I mean, is that? Oh, that's gonna be just cool, you know. It is cool. I mean, you're sitting there. Once, once you fall out, fall out. They, she pushes. She doesn't let you see, but it's time. When it's time to go, <laughs> she she goes. I'll I'll push you out. So when we go out, yeah, the rush is flying at almost 140 miles an hour straight down. Wow. And, and the view, even though the view is is all farmlands and everything, but it's like. I was enjoying the view. I was enjoying the fall and everything. Well, how long? Regardless of what you hear from Big Dog, I did not shit my pants. <laughs> how long? <laughs> now, how long from like that initial push out did it take for you to adjust? I guess like calmly to enjoy the scenery and stuff. I'd say a good ten seconds yeah. because it's you know it was not something that's normally done. So it's like, all right, get a hold of yourself, right? You know, and it's like, but I, I was breathing normally. And I was started letting out a whole bunch of woo kind of <laughs> stuff. So, yeah, but uh, just uh, unreal. So, did, did you hear the whistling noise, like Wiley oh, Coyote uh, falling? I did the falling. <laughs> you is, that, is that is that the kind of sound that you hear when you're coming down? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, in, in fact, it's like standing in front of an industrial fan. Uh, I'm still having oh, yeah. stop hearing it <sighs> right near. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just like that. Both my ears are, like, clogged when I got down there. Oh, that's what I sound but like was, all the time. It, you know? that's, yeah. Wow. Well, well, you should be, but the 60-second free fall, then it was, like, between six and eight minutes from the deployment of the chute to the ground. Oh, wow. That that will be, uh, 
I don't know. I mean, like, again, I, I, you would do it. Would you do it, Byron? Fuck yeah. Yeah, I know you would do it. And then I'm taking donations. I'm going to start a GoFundMe. Yeah. Anybody <laughs> wants to watch Byron jump out of a perfectly good airplane? Yeah. Uh, and anybody can it's have... It's funny. A- that's their web... That's their website, perfectlygoodairplane.com. <laughs> there you go. But, yeah, definitely check that out. And... Certificate. Nice. Yeah. Uh, this ju- we should do that. has jumped out of a perfectly good airplane. Do that on the next trip. You jump, yeah. you know, I'll, I'll contribute to a portion of it. I'll Good. take a video and, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'll smuggle. Second, even if you don't want to jump, you can pay $39 and sit in the co-pilot seat. Oh, oh that's not bad. That would be Bumpa's job. Yep. I'll do that. I can see it right now. He's got his headphones on right now, and he would look just like that and, and laugh at his ass. Smiling and then watch Cracking Byron a beer as I get pushed out the door. Yep. Bye, bitch. Oh. Somehow <laughs> I'm not connected to a shoot. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I left something on the bench. I got the budget ride. <laughs> but, hey, Gizzard, man, I appreciate you sharing your story with us, man. That's awesome. And I'm glad you had a good time. And uh, I do have to say one funny uh, thing that Black Dog just said. Show us in the doll where she touched you, Gizzard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right when I take a swing of beer. <laughs> oh. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate right. it. And I hope you had a good time. All right, you guys have a good evening. I'll miss you, man. All right. Thanks, Bye. man. Later. All right. That was good, yeah. And I don't know, again, I don't know if I could handle something like that myself. You oh, know, I'm just, absolutely. Yeah? That's I mean, one of the things I want to... Well, you talk about the stratosphere, jumping. you know, whatever, oh, yeah. 800 feet up, whatever the fuck absolutely it is. Absolutely, I, I want to do that. But we're talking, what is it, 14,000 right feet? Right now, I'm suffering from vertigo, and I'm just sitting here. Yeah, Can you know, imagine like, me? Like crooked neck and everything. I wonder, I wonder what would happen. Would I fall faster than my vomit? You would suffocate because the it would thing. just come right yeah. back. It would be like that the whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna need oh. a. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll bring that beer uh, bong tube that you got last time we went out to Vegas, and I could just hold that off to the oh. side. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, let's touch a story that uh, Black Dog Radio Show touched. What do you think? Speaking of touching, right? Touching, touching. Um, to you, they, they they had some topics directly on it, but I'll just, in general, what do you think um, is a signal of a pickup from a girl that she's interested in you? When a girl walks up, grabs your junk? No, well, that's a strong point. Right? Had that happen. Oh, yeah, I've, seen, I've seen it. Yep. Grab your junk, licked your face. Licked my face. Yeah. First time meeting a girl, too. And then you went downstairs, the same place, different bars. Yeah, same Same yeah. bar, different one, yeah. room. And yes. it continued the junk fest and all, tongue twisting. All of her friends hated me. I don't know why. It was disgusting. I, I, it was <laughs> fucking disgusting. And I'm good for you, man. You know, it's like, but I, it was just, you know, and I'm okay with the PDA type thing, but I, I, it's the way it happened was just like, Ill. <laughs> <laughs> it she was. I, I have to say, licking was, your face, and she's definitely going down fishing because that hand oh, yeah. was in there. Oh, Dave, and you, you can see at, the front of your pants. You know, the, well, you saw the, the my face. Yeah, is what it was. Well, it was at first, to <gasps> be shocked, and then you just went with it and you kissed her. And, well, I had had enough in me, enough booze. I had. Uh, I was in Boston getting groped. Oh. Uh, I, you know, and there weren't that many dirty texts between us either. But see, now th- I can see this. If you were like today, if you were in Gidgard's, uh suit, well, yeah, yeah, you'd be playing with that instructor, not Gizzard. No, the instructor. Oh, the instructor, yes. Yeah. But if you, I was in Gizzard's right, suit, so you would take yeah. that fourteen thousand feet to fornicate. <laughs> oh. oh, a lot of people still have her number. <laughs> Alas, she's married. <laughs> So it's a limited uh, edition number. Yeah, right. The current time she's married. <laughs> tune, in, tune in next month. Uh, but and It was weird. It was like I turned 40 and all of a sudden shit like that just started happening. And it's again, really like I said, you know, it, it's from a guy's standpoint, it's cool it happened. But it's just like it was just, I don't know, like vicious in how it happened. Like, it was a little mortifying at first. Yeah, exactly. It, it's like, you know, but I, another guy I know, similar thing, well, he, we're walking through uh, Faneuil Hall. We went out drinking one night and going through Faneuil Hall, Quincy Marketplace. And he's got a sausage, you know, a big Italian sausage. Like like you get in Boston. Street right? meat. Yeah, street meat. That's what you get when you're fucking Boston. That's, that's right. wicked pizza style. Because Buzzies is closed now, so you yeah. can't get that. But that's what you get in Boston. You go there and you fucking you get a uh, something from the sausage guy or one of the other, uh, you know, 
various f- famous uh, sausage carts. And that's anyway, what you need to show in Periscope, Chase says. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a piece of sausage here. Yeah, was, uh... So he'd walk in with the sausage in hand, right? And this girl, a beautiful blonde girl, just stops him. Um, hey, can I have a piece of that? Only oh, if you take the pieces in my mouth first. Without oh, hesitation, she no deep throats him. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Without hesitation, deep throats him. You know, gets a chunk in her mouth and then gets a bite of the uh, a fresh bite. Well done. And while well, her friend's like, "What the fuck?" She's like, "Shut up, bitch! I'm hungry." You know? And there's Bumpa. Oh yeah, me and Rizzo we're also there. Rizzo was with us. Oh. Hey, what comes to mind is this, though. Right, oh yeah, there's got to be something wrong there. again. You know, is, is something wrong with her or something wrong with him? I mean, I don't know. So, all right. So you have that. You have that question to ask. Now I've got the follow up question to ask. At what point does your wingman step in to save you from a mistake? When? Well, it depends what's happening. Like late night at a club. Yeah, it would. And there's just this girl that you probably shouldn't have, and and there you are up against the wall, and your buddy goes, "Hey, you okay?" And of course. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, yeah. When do you, when do you step in? Well, I think the problem there is the uh, the wingman. In many times, fails. That's a bad. The bad wingman would fail and not ask you if you're okay. You turn around, you find your wingman left. Okay. Oh, did, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Did he even inquire? He just assumed you're okay. Signal. That's right. Technically. You need a signal. A signal. Yeah. Now many people have uh, your wingman needs to stay long enough to get that signal. Like uh, we, oh. we we uh, I I have worked with uh, with with Chase and and his crew, and Jen has a safe word. It's well. strap on. So apparently, oh yeah, that would get my attention. Yeah, well, strap right on. Away. We're all done. We're done here. <laughs> that would be it. Yeah, exactly. Gone. <laughs> you say strap on. We're doing something. Boom. I heard the game is over. I'm all set. Got to go home now. Bye bye. You know, so I, I am all set with that. I have uh, no need for the uh, to bring out the heavy artillery and that type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's not really. It's not again not, not my style, but to each their own, I guess. Right. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I know you probably, if you had a few, you probably, all right, I guess, right? Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not proud, but, uh, you know, right after the divorce, it was a, a rough time for me, and uh, I did have one of those moments. Chase <laughs> left me in the bar. Chase is like, I'm going home, and I'm like, I'm hanging out here. Well, boy, that's... that was a mistake. That's typical of you, though. Yeah. I mean, I am typical like that. Um, the question here, and I, I, it's, I see it on my notes, and uh, but I, th- I can't remember. I think it was old. But we'll ask it yeah. anyway. Do you kiss her after she swallows? I think we discussed this before. Yeah. But it's, all, it's a topic worth I'm going to say revisiting. after. I got like this, this mouthwash in my bathroom that is, it foams. Yeah. So after that, probably. The the foaming one. Like like you're in a car wash and it just kind of... You're going Cujo on the situation. Right. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, trying to bring up... I'm just trying to make out sure Skype stays open here. Um, so you give us a call on our phone line, 774-314-7044. Uh, the line is open. And I guess, you know... You know I... I, I is, is it rude? To, is it rude though to like try to completely avoid her? No. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Cause I, I look at it it's like you know, of course the guy's like you know like gross, but at the same time, it's like, well, what? It's okay for her too, but not you. Well, I know we've gone over the. I did tell the story about when I uh, had this girl. She disappeared for a few minutes, came back, and there's a little odor. And it was toothpaste, but not enough to cover. <laughs> but again, I was a teenager, and you really had to snowball. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. She had just thrown up. That's all. Oh, which is kind of just as bad. But holy shit, that was Gizzard's first call. Wasn't yeah. It? Oh. 
So, uh, well, you know what? For that, for the fact that I was given the first call, there you go. when uh, after our first break, when we come back, we'll do our show shot. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. What? What do you think, Jesse? I don't know. Jesse, I'm looking at it. <laughs> Over there. Yeah, I gotta go to work early tomorrow too. <laughs> oh, you can have one I don't shot. Know. It'll make you feel better. I don't know. Just to <laughs> <laughs> do one shot of it. Uh, okay, Tiger Lily, if she is willing to swallow, suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> I added the Buttercup. In there. You know, I, I hear that. You know, and it's like I, again, you know, it's come back up, and it's like you want to kiss it. Not really. Well, that's like women. If if the guy goes uh, south of the border there, below the belt line, uh, do they continue kissing you? Uh, Ooh, someone's getting messages. You? Could be me. Well, Probably is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yes, big dog, right? We do have uh, this fresh bottle of Jesse James American Outlaw Bourbon Whiskey. Oh, um, I'm so afraid of that. We have yet to crack it open because, literally, because Byron is still recovering from his first episode with it uh, out there in the uh, York part of the country. And uh, I, I still tell the story about how he checked out of the hotel, like, uh, you know, <laughs> Alec, stars, Alec Baldwin man. after a rough weekend. Uh, rock stars. Just threw, yeah, like a rock star, man. The fucking, he, he, le- he left that hotel. Nobody leaves Motel 8 like celebrity status oh, uh, Byron here. And threw the key across the fucking desk, and you know he, he he walked out quietly. Just threw the key, and if you looked at him, it just shouted later, bitches, and that was it. You know, and <laughs> he gets out into the car, he slouches down, and as uh, and, I was going to pile up in the back seat, but we had way too much shit yeah. in the back seat. And as Big Dog and his lovely wife saw, uh, you were crippled. Oh yeah, you were hurting. Oh, and, uh, yeah. It took me a good while to get out of the car, oh. and then come find out. Didn't even have to get out of the car, but <laughs> I did, you know. You forced yourself by that point. I had to, man. Oh. So, yeah, give us a call. The, the line's open, 774-314-7044. Again, 774-314-7044. Tell us what topics you'd like us to talk about. Um, your statement about swallowing. What, what am I missing there? You have to wait I know. Down there. Oh, I'm boy, looking hey, at that, and then all of a sudden I hear Tiger Chase. Lily. You have to wait until I'm down there. Oh, I there, don't Tiger Lily. get that. If she's willing to swallow, suck it up. Ooh, hey. Yeah. yeah. I guess, you know, I mean, again, it comes back to each your own. It's like, you know, I, I and I understand, like, what some women think on that because it's like, well, wait a minute. It's okay if I swallow it, lick it, have it in my mouth, whatever, but you can't. You know, it's yours. You want you want it in your mouth or not? No, not really. But you know, I guess you kind of have to suck it up and do that, right? Oh shit! So we uh, what are we on t- time here? Let me check that out here. Oh. Not nearly two hours. No, not really. Huh? We well, don't have a lot of material tonight, do we? No, no. Uh, well, I mean, there was a few things, uh, but you know, I, I hate to always go so sexual. You know. It's what we do, though. So I mean, I, I got something that's non-sexual. Go for it. All right, give me one second here. Uh, all right, so last night on uh, a turning point, uh, 8 p.m., because uh, Chase needed to put his slippers on and <laughs> get right into bed right afterwards. He said he was going to go late, and he did, a whole 10 or 15 minutes late. Old timer. But uh, I met up uh, with... Uh, with a couple of podcasters from uh, the UK. Oh, uh, Great Britain. Sure, yeah. Uh, a couple of gentlemen. Very nice young guys. Uh, they seem to have their, their shit about them. Uh, and they sounded great. Great accent. Would have turned on most of the girls in this room. It was uh, pretty good. Uh, they call themselves That's a Shame. And they're listed as an explicit podcast. Uh, I haven't gotten a chance to listen in depth, but uh, some of their stuff, I mean, what they were talking about was absolutely on point and funny as hell. Uh, they co- they call themselves a bronze award winning British nobodies. Oh. Isaac and Declan sit around talking about anything and everything, which is an absolute shame. Give them a taste. <laughs> That's what it says on their uh, write-up, which is similar to ours, a round yeah. table of general stupidity. Uh, yeah. 
and pointless banter. That's what we need is a round table. We got to get that. I know. We'll get you the round table oh. in the next studio. It needs to be a big round table, like double the size. I'm thinking like eight foot round table. Then we got to move into the my bedroom, and I'm not giving up my room. I like the room in there. Oh, uh, I didn't at first. Bitch, moan and groan and cry on this. Yeah, that's what everybody hears. <laughs> Me. Hmm. Notice you're liking the uh, the heavy stuff a little bit better. You know why? Why? Because it is better. Some of it is. Some of it is. I'm still, I still shit. can't get that. That, that soft I can't get shit that in the sneaker stuff that you listen to. The sneaker stuff. Oh, yeah. When you step down and it comes right out the air vents. That is awful music you listen to. Oh, well, that reminds me. We have Nicholas Wells, Empty Coffee Cups. Oh, oh, oh come on. How about the other one? Uh, Jen Bostic, you know, Jealous of the Angels. That's a great one. Uh, you, you don't like that one? Only because she's hot. <laughs> uh, Isn't it one of the artists we that we have, have dead? She, she, you know, we have permission to play her music. Hmm. Uh Jen Bossick, Jealous of the Angels. Uh, also, she has another one that uh, we could play. Um, I'm going to go drown my sorrows. Oh, come on now. And Jesse James. Ah. Cold glass arms. <laughs> <laughs> A little sappy shit in the background while we talk. Right. Now, I, I'd love to know if any of the female listeners like this song. Oh, I'm sure they do. Oh, damn. Black Dog just burned his popcorn. I hate when that happens. I'm sure Chase is eating some right now and making a lot of noise. He does that very well. All right, see Chase. I do that here, too. Ready? I'm eating some uh, pepperoni. Oh, she's getting louder. I'm going to have to be yelling soon. Well, I'll play a second, that's all. I need another beer. I'll just carry some thoughts on that one. Uh, uh, not quite Byron style, of course. No, I'm getting a beer. No. For something about, you know, the loved ones dying really quick. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, hey, you know, just uh, I had to play that a little bit. Um, you know, Jen Bostick, the, the writer and singer of that song, uh, gave us permission to use that song. She also has another song. Uh, oh... Why can I remember the song? Uh, I want to know. I want to know what love is, but it's it's different than the uh, the that popular one. It's but it's a great great song. Um, let me see if I can get it up real quick. Oh. <laughs> you said get it up. Hey hey no. I didn't even have headphones on, and I heard that. So yeah, we're suffering from a pestilence here, dude. I I'm, I got ants in here too now. <laughs> It's awful. That summer type. You know, the, right here. This is it. Now it starts off preachy, you know. A little uh, gospel like. Hallelujah. But it gets better. I don't know. Amen. Come on. Again, you got to check it out on YouTube. Jen Bostic. Jen with two N's. B O S T I C. Praise the Lord. Yeah, she's kind of cute. Mm. So that's just some of that sappy stuff, you know, that I love to play. 
Um, you know, next week uh, at the Bates Motel Shanty Blast, uh, I hope to be playing some songs by It Destroys and Kills. Um, <clears throat> hardcore Hiddick? stuff. You're going to like it. Idak, Idak. Um, yeah, I'm going to like that. Yeah. So uh, you're gonna um, you're gonna love the stuff they have. Uh, I can actually pull up on a Reverb Nation where you can find a lot of their music uh, and give people a Jesus. taste. Destroys and kills. Um, good stuff. You're gonna like it. I think uh, it's definitely your your style, man. Uh, Oh, yeah. That's one of them. It's called the Eye Upon You. Turn down a bit. It's called the Eye Upon You. Uh, it destroys and kills you. Find out Reverb Nation. Uh, listen to this for a couple of seconds, a few minutes, a minute. It destroys and kills the eye upon you. Ah, uh, that's a great. I like that. Nice I one. did too. Gizzard yeah. did. There were some other ones. I don't know what happened to them. Ah, uh, we'll get them back. Yeah, I don't know where they all went. There was a. But uh, yep. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to get some uh, those tunes cranking, man. Um, so do a little. Uh, Gizzard liked it. Uh, it. It's got a deep feel. There were some other ones I listened to uh, that you know weren't as. That was pretty hard. I like uh, that one though. Yeah, but there were some a little less hard, not, not much less, but that's good. Great, it was good. So all that, but uh, the Bates Motel has a shanty blast. Uh, Patty Cakes' husband is the drummer in that band. 
Uh, so that is, uh, you know, how we got that connection. And uh, she had mentioned before, uh, she was going to ask him about some uh, getting some songs for us to add to our library. Outstanding. So, yeah, man. Always good to have some deep jams. Uh, but we should take a break. Uh, you want some uh, Mr. Sin? I think I have him here somewhere. Some music there. I got him here. Me... We haven't heard him in a little bit. He's got a new album coming out soon. Uh, I'm gonna get. He's gonna send me a message when it drops, and we're gonna get our grubby little hands on it when it drops. <laughs> well, you know, we're in the radio business, sort of, in a roundabout mile and a half kind of away kind of sort of way. Huh. Uh, uh, maybe we're thirty miles out, but I feel like we're in the radio business. I like to sound like we're in the radio business. Oh, you do, and you love, like to live like we are. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, sh- that's so true. We got poor uh, and uh, see it now. Unknown. What is the name of that <clears throat> song, man? See it now by Nikki Sin. Uh, you ready? Outstanding. You're listening to the Wicked Business Show. We'll be back. That was Sin. It was See It Now? That's correct. Yeah. You're listening to the Wicked Business Show on Spreaker.com. 
And if you're listening later, then it might be YouTube. <laughs> uh, probably will be. Uh, I got a little bit of uh, some current events to go over. Uh, my take on current events. This is how the news would be if I reported it, basically. Oh, so, uh, uh, and I have uh, Turtle, Boy, uh, Turtle Boy Sports to thank for it, I know. He's looking at me like like I used to look at Allie whenever she said, uh, what the hell is the name of that aggregator there? TMZ. But uh, anyways, uh, I, I use it for the, uh, for, the, for the headlines. He does have some great editorial chops. German social justice warrior degenerates attempt to protest G20 summit, end up getting blasted with water cannons, tear gas, also get arrested and clubbed by the police. Well, yeah, you're in Germany. They're going to beat the shit out of you. They're not in America, where we hand out Pop-Tarts after we fire rubber bullets at people. Uh, actually, they can't even fire rubber bullets at people anymore. they just got to wait until the bottle starts. This, uh, Worcester, the worst end of Worcester, are spilling out. It's like someone poked a hole in the, in the shit bag. Uh, Agawam has been, uh, yeah, something. Yeah, uh, let's see. We've got a... Uh, yes, uh... A little oh. hiccup there. Some people don't think uh, might, have, might have lost us, but we are back. We're on. Oh, all right. A little hiccup there. Well, really, it was just boring. It was just my take on the news, and I don't really matter. Well, In my own mind, I do. But well, there's you know. more scumbags in the world. Uh, well, we've got a uh, a, a uh, what the fuck. A golden shower skank urinates on the American flag on the 4th of July because that's how freedom is celebrated. <laughs> Where the hell is that? Rhode Island. Bitch, right here is my course. freedom. Yeah, Rhode Island. Oh, she she used the uh, that, that pee, the girl pee funnel thing. Yep. Yeah. And draped an American flag over the toilet and peed through it. Uh, it looks as though Facebook, uh, not Facebook, but YouTube took the video down. I bet mom and dad are proud. Uh, it, oh, it's called a go girl. Used to pee standing up. <laughs> uh, and uh, Turtle Boy doesn't think it was manufactured to piss on American flags. I'm willing uh, to bet the same I'll, thing. Yeah, all right, I'll her name is Emily Lance. She's deactivated all of her social media, but the internet is forever, and they've got plenty of pictures of this. Oh my God. What a little skank she is. Uh, someone uh, set up a GoFundMe to protect this clam bag. Clam bag. But I got shut down real quick. Uh, yeah, I guess there was a huge rollout of hate for her. And uh, oh, <laughs> $172 to purchase Emily a one-way ticket to Caracas, Venezuela. Yeah. So uh, if she likes the uh, socialism kind of lifestyle venezuela is where you want to be oh my good God. luck to you for that one but yeah oh i guess uh someone uh took the the money that was in that people had donated yeah and gave and uh, they split it to wounded warrior project and fisher house foundation oh god so that you know it's like bottom of the barrel scumbag theft is to steal from a donation jar you know, oh, yeah. when you go into a uh, convenience store or a packy. It happens all the time, though. And for those that aren't around uh, New England, a packy is where we get our beer and liquor yes. from. That's what we call a liquor store. It's a packy. Uh, what else do we call it? Packy, liquor store. A packy. Packy. Packy yeah. run. Package packy store. Run. Package store. I don't like Package, package store. store. Package store just sounds like you only pick up something that UPS forgot to give you or something. To the rest of the planet, yes. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, we, I was told that our radio show sounded a little odd. Wicked Pissa, it sounds like we're really good at urinating. That's to, cool. To the English. Yeah. And we are after the amount of beer that we put, oh, yeah. put through our high system. High pressure. Yeah, that's right. High <laughs> pressure, low, uh, low, pre- uh, low, uh, low drag on that one. <laughs> Putting out fires. One that's day right. Time. Oh, shit. Uh, but, yeah, we do the packy. What do they call it out there in Illinois when we were there? What the hell? It was a liquor store. I guess I thought they had some other weird name for it. Huh? They have been known to call it a package store. Packages. Yeah. Well, 
Um, we were going to open up this bourbon, um, but uh, I don't think Byron wants to. He, he is I, sick. He's not really, he's still not looking. He's not back up to par yet. Uh, going to have to do it soon, bro. Well, we will. I promise we he, will. Each show, but since we got back, oh, I, can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Not today, no. Oh, oh. No, hey, because wolves. I want to really the enjoy it. I want to enjoy that burn. I want to enjoy my nostril hairs catching on fire. You never will. You say that. Ever since you had on McGillicuddy's way back when that burnt. <sighs> well, I pipe. inhaled that shit by accident, okay? It's, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hold on one sec. I'll pop something up here if I can. Something happened on my computer. All right, well, I mean, I can go back into this. We've got uh, uh, main dirt bags. Main round dirt bags. two. Now, this is from Turtle Boy Sports. Uh, round two because they couldn't resist going on social media and foolishly incriminating themselves oh. and each other. Uh, oh, apparently, uh, this is the case of the, uh, the the kid who got beat down until they were unconscious. And then uh, one of the kids pissed on on the other kid. The kid being a female, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think I, I. I read the story. There are there are, are some um, gaps in the story. There, well, there are gaps in everybody's. Yeah, story. there were supposedly there were like what six or seven people there. Uh, technically, the fight was only between uh, two others, and. You know, so all six or seven or whatever did not jump her. Even the girl said not, not all of them jumped me. Um, you know, she got punched in the face, knocked out by one girl. The other one jumped in. No, but all of them were involved so, in some way, shape, or form at they, this party. I guess you're right because they stood by and didn't do anything. Um, but not all of them hit the girl. Not all of them urinated on the girl. Just one. Two hit the girl. One urinated on the girl. So... That, you know, it, it is it is wrong, absolutely. And she's trying to downplay it, like, oh, because even the, even the victim is trying to twist it, you know, because I'm, I'm guessing she's not. No, she's not all there. Yeah, she's not all there. She's related she's, to these animals. Well, these animals are playing, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know they were going to do that. If I knew, I wouldn't let them do no, that. No, yet they pose for a picture right, right all, afterwards. Exactly, you know. I mean, so. Uh, one of the turtle riders uh, said uh, they would rather light their own face on fire and try to put the flames out with a tack hammer uh-huh. than ever bump into any of these people in a real life situation. I can agree with that. Well, Patty Cakes back in. Just want to let you know, Patty Cakes, we did play a quick song, uh, part part of a song from uh, "It Destroys and Kills." I did uh, pretty good. Uh, got lots of likes on that. So just let them know. Uh, still hanging in the shanty. Oh, boy. Good googly moogly. Yeah. Uh, trying to think. Of course, in the news, always food stamp abuse is rare. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Well, right. on Turtle Boy, if you're interested, they've got a list of all the people and their social media sites <laughs> that they found selling their food stamps on Facebook. Yep. Uh, and let me tell you, the pictures are spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> There is just, it's amazing what people think is hot. This is, can you see this in the reflection? Uh, yeah, I see some of it, yep. Yeah. That what chick is, right there. What's she doing? Uh, she's a fupa sloth. Uh, she's selling her uh, nine unopened cans of Similac. Nice, class act. Uh, she needs them gone today, smoke free, pet free, asking sixty dollars or best <laughs> offer. Uh, Are you shitting me? I, I get. I'm, it's, it's good to know that the uh, that the it, kids getting it. Yeah, all right. And pet free, uh, odor free. I'm, I'm glad you know. Odor free, my ass. <laughs> if you saw the picture of this thing, uh, there's one thing a lot of people don't know, uh, especially if, if you're going to buy uh, powdered formula, is it can't be in the sunlight. You can't let it get too hot. Uh, if it does, it actually spoils. Oh, you know these assholes have it in the back deck of that uh, car. Yeah. And so I've seen that. Some people leave it in the car where, mm-hmm. you know, it bakes at 140 degrees or whatever. Uh, you're not really supposed to do that. They think it's like a baby MRE or something. Yeah. Uh, 
I mean, I have eaten an MRE that was in a trunk of a car for three years. That's your, that's your type of thing, man. It's a little different, you know. You, you like to live on the edge like that. You know, I don't know why, but you do. But, uh... uh it was, uh... I got seventy five dollars in food stamps. We'll trade for fifty dollars cash. Really? Now, yeah, but the, there's a problem. Is like you know, drug dealers do this. Okay, they'll they'll buy they'll buy your food stamps. Like okay, whatever it be a food stamp, CBT card for like twenty five bucks on a hundred. They'll give you you know so a quarter on a dollar. Basically. I gotta know how do these savages sell. Because food stamps aren't food stamps anymore. It's it's like a debit card, right? And, and each month you're allotted X amount. It goes you use like as, as like a debit card. You have a pin number and just... right. So what you give them the, the debit card, and uh, then what report is stolen or something? Yes, but the problem being is uh, when you report it stolen, I think like the third or fourth time after you do that, you can't get any more. We well, have to like reapply. You have to go through the whole Good. process and system. Oh well, again. then they'll give it to them again. So right, but I mean, it takes a long time to get. So you know, you're not going to get it in two days. I mean, it, you know, it's going to take. It could take you a couple months to get. Well, that's why one. these people team up. No, oh. because they they put them all in the same spot so they yep. can educate each other on what, how to do. What this they shit. do is they'll go. You know, they go to the local convenience store, liquor store that. Uh, except EBT, which shouldn't, but whatever they do, and, you know, they'll say, "Hey, all right, one bottle Doc McGillicuddy's." Right? Uh, oh, she bought fifteen uh, gallons. Health and beauty. <laughs> she bought fifteen gallons of milk. And that's what they charge her for, and she like a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, oh, you know. God. And so they'll they'll basically give her a portion off, you know, because they're gonna make they're gonna pocket money on the other end. See, the whole thing of this is is. Uh, it just pisses me off. No. I don't mind giving a helping hand out to someone who needs it, but to people who abuse it. Ooh, shit, I'm skidding above the poverty line here, right? <laughs> I, I, I got the skid marks on my underwear, too. Oh, program. come on, oh, man. That was bad, I know. Hey, but everybody out there did laugh a little bit. But Pat, as Patty Cake says, if people ask you for like 50 in cash and give you $75 on food stamps, absolutely, that happens all the time. People try to... Uh, you know, trade off the food stamps for cash. Um, it's insane. It is. It is. But now, I used to, uh, I used to have an issue with people using food stamps outside of Massachusetts. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay, or is it? You're static again. I think. But that's all right. Let me switch. To oh, no, you're fine. Don't switch headphones. It has nothing to do with that. Okay. Because <laughs> it just sounds kind of yeah. bottled up in here. Anyways. Uh, Testing one, two, three. You're fine. Oh, you know what? I'm on, on the wrong one. Of course. I don't even know which one it is. <laughs> ah! Number four. There oh, you there go. you go. Hey. Oh, yeah, I am a little staticky. Oh. I'm too close. That's what it is. Uh, these people, they go uh, they go cross-country with their EBT cards. Yeah. Now, if you have a family or if you're legitimately on it, no problem. Yeah. No problem at all. You have to eat. You have to get a vacation. You got to get away from. Well, no, some people who are legitimately disabled yeah. need a vacation. Uh, it's it's tough looking at the same four walls over and over <laughs> and over again. Uh, but seriously, the people who make their living off of other people, yeah, <laughs> pretty much, those are the ones who just absolutely. Piss me off beyond belief. That's uh, it's just it's disgusting, period, you know, because again, it's our tax dollars paying for the shit and you know, to abuse it to, so they can get their own whatever needs, you know, skimp off of it to get a tattoo. That, buy drugs. that pisses me off. I, yeah. I do they, you see these jackasses, they got a Cadillac Escalade, 11 kids, and yeah. I just got a new tattoo today. Fuck. Yeah. Yo, I need a tattoo. I got no money to feed my kids. Uh, I need a bag school. of Newports. Oh, it's good some bud. Mm. You know, they got their weed and all that, but, you know, they can't feed sandwiches to the kids. Hey, but. I have anxiety. I need my weed for my anxiety. No, oh. you need your weed for, oh, and you need your EBT yeah, card again, it's for your like, munchies. And it's not, it's okay, not being, it. we're not being like anti-weed, but we're being, 
you know, common sense. If you can't afford it, don't get it. Right. It, it's it, like the, out, the going out rule. If yeah. you can't afford to tip, you can't afford to be eating out. Yeah. Oh. He said eating out. I did. And I knew that you were <laughs> right up on that one. I don't like these headphones. I like my other headphones. Really? I'm glad I'm not oh, wearing like my that. other headphones. <laughs> right, you get that nice that, that, in-depth it, it sound. It would actually feel like your tongue was in my ear, and that oh, that would bother you. Quite upsetting to me. So that's the one way you're going to keep. My oh, it doesn't bother phone. everybody. No. Oh, the phone number here to call is seven seven four three one four seven zero four four. That number again is seven seven four three one four seven zero four four. That is the wicked piss of wine. Give us a jingle, and. Yes. We might want to fucking talk to you. Um, what the fuck? So, now we talked about signs that a girl does like you. Like you said, uh, lick your face, things like that. Sure. You know, grab your junk. And- grab your junk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse you me. It still gets you yeah. to this day. Uh, it was a sight to behold, folks. Uh, let uh, me tell you. Not, uh, but now, how about a sign that the girl doesn't like you? And sometimes I say it that way because obviously there's the obvious ways like you're you're an asshole, get away from your prick, blah, blah. But you know, then there's some girls that play hard to get. You know, how do you know she's playing hard to get versus doesn't really like you? Is I there, would prefer the straightforward. Yep. Yeah. Go away. <laughs> right. It's worked. I've come up and said, "Hey, how are you?" Go away. There you go. All right. Okay. Sorry. Thanks. So. Next. But not. And exactly, if that if that's the case, that's the way it should be, opposed to continuing dialogue if she doesn't like it. It's like it's, waste of breath. Yeah, seriously, oh, you're at a bar and you're like, you? "Hey, I'm baby, good. I eat now." Mind you, men are not at their best. No, when they are at a bar, they've got liquid courage, <laughs> alcohol armor, booze muscles, whatever you want to call it. Uh. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're, we're poor, dumb animals. Kids have said one way to find out that they don't like you is your face gets pepper sprayed. I haven't. Well, I mean, I've been pepper sprayed, but not in that particular no, <laughs> manner. manner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and let me tell you, Johnny Knoxville is right now. I don't know what gonorrhea feels like, oh, but I can imagine it. Oh. It's just gonorrhea of the eyes. It's, mm. It is. It's awful. Oh. Um, oh, that's I had to right. drive home after that, too. That sucked. Uh, oh, he's, you're not right. Oh. But yeah, you know, there's not, like you said, a hard to play, hard to get, you know, point blank. If you don't like, don't say it, don't drag it on. But at the same time, guys are bad at knowing any signal because we know, we know our, our, boy, our boy Rizzo for one, okay? You, you're just nice to Rizzo? She wants me. We have a she problem with no means no Yeah, in this society. Many men have even more of a problem saying no means yes. They think that. Yeah. Rizzo, no means yes. She's hot. She knows that I'm hot it's, for her. I, I don't know if it's that. I think, you know, and it's not just him. Though. Many guys, if you think about it, misperceive that a girl being nice automatically means she wants you. She wants my shit. You saw that, right? You look for the micro expressions. There's 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 a look. There's like a a split second of hey, you know, or <laughs> what the hell is that? I, it's, it's just, uh, it looks like, uh, let's see if I can do the expression. I don't know. You almost like yeah. I thought you haven't seen you. Yeah, <laughs> but I've I've seen it. Okay. I had so, a mullet when I was younger, and I saw that a lot. Wow, the mullet did it, huh? It didn't really work. Ah, uh, you know, Billy Ray, fucking fuck you, Cyrus. Yeah. It worked for him. I had a rat tail. He, he got, you had a rat tail? Yeah. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Did you braid it? No, I didn't have a habit of playing with it, though. But i got to remember to tilt no, my head absolutely. to the right. I feel like a, a <laughs> I guess, like some sort of neck problem. But, yeah, liquid courage does make you see things that aren't there. But, again, Gizzard, you know, Gizzard, uh, any of the other guys here, well, uh, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen guys... Uh, that act that way, just when a woman is nice to you, they kind of, right off the bat, gets perceived, oh, wait, she's flirting, I think. No, she's being polite. Yeah. Do not, she wants me to. So like, why why should she be nice to me? I don't know, it's called like courtesy, common you know, manners, things like that. Now, Friendly, I polite. have had in the past 
I talked with a girl who I had I had hit on, but I mean, one night she was looking at some other guy, and ah, you know, I didn't get there. And then months later, she's knocked up with that guy's kid. And, nice. And I said, you know, I I wanted to ask you out a while back. She goes, why didn't you? We were busy with uh, because you were <laughs> trying to play tonsil hockey with Gorgon the Destroyer <laughs> over there. Tonsil hockey. <laughs> and I was that weird fucktard in the corner, you know. And and she's like, well, I would have gone on a date with you, sure. And I looked down at her belly, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. And now she's got like eleven kids and lives in Reseda. And, uh, there you go. <laughs> and uh, my tax, my yeah. tax dollars are paying for most of that. <laughs> See that? That'd be a perfect setting for you. Uh, no, you, you'd be dead by now. Children <laughs> scare the shit out of me. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have taken that helicopter ride. I would have just said, "Let me go." <laughs> Let me oh, go. Oh. oh shit! I'm walking towards the light. <laughs> Uh, goals in life. Clear! No! No! Clear is right! Keep your hands away from them paddles! <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I got oh. a question for the ladies. Go. It's a little dirty. Oh. Now, shame on you, boy. As men, we were exposed to what some people would consider porn at an early age. Oh, okay, I, I got a question for you. Yeah, there you go. What? Now, before I launch into my little weirdness here, what was the first uh, nudie picture you ever saw, Bumpa? Uh, Be honest. I can't. Well, I can't remember the, the image itself. I cannot remember. No, exactly. I can't remember the image. But uh, a Playboy magazine. Okay, so it was Playboy. Yep. Yeah. I. Uh, I was exposed to National Geographic. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was always a a different. Uh, yeah, when you see the, uh, you know, the women of Africa uh, or Central America, South, South, South America. Yeah, where, yep, just they got bottoms on but no tops. <laughs> and as a kid, you're like, hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I want to touch <laughs> those. And you would see pictures. I remember seeing pictures of... Uh, but that was when I was very young. I, I yeah. mean, I was really young. And then the first Playboy, holy shit. I remember seeing a it picture just, of a, you know, a, a, an African woman, uh, like you said, top, she's mm-hmm. bottom, but top, topless. Um, and she's like in a river. She's holding a baby. <laughs> a fish or uh, something. <laughs> she, she's in the river, holding, I think like they were, other women were doing laundry. This one particular woman in the center of the picture was just... Holding a baby who's sucking on a nipple, and while the baby's sucking on a nipple, looking right at the photographer. Oh yeah, he's you know, like, "I'm getting some." Yeah, it's just very strange. I as a as a kid, uh, you know, yeah, I, I see probably that, like that had an effect on 13, you. 14, you know, twelve. Uh, saw that, uh, but I remember like the first time uh, a group of us, my friends, we found like the, the dirty magazines, you know, Hustler. Oh, uh, yeah, that was... Yeah, when, when you get into the, the the graphic, really graphic ones, uh, we found a whole pile of them one time uh, thrown out into... Uh, thrown out? Not thrown out, but dis- a box discarded uh, just off into like a wooded area. Um, yeah, see, there was a store called... Uh, ah, shit. I can't remember the name. It was a newsstand in downtown Marlboro. Okay. And uh, they had... Right near the Cracked and Mad magazines, they had just this oh, wall of porn. Oh. I really should have used uh, the, the, that, that, that satanic kind of thing because I was there right after being an altar boy at a funeral. At, well, hey, that's wrong. <laughs> you don't pop the boner with the boxes in the room, okay? Hey. That's, I mean, you get that the organ music, and speaking of organs... And then you go down to uh, to the to the newsstand down there, and you look at a Mad magazine. You're standing there reading the Mad. Oh, you're holding the Mad magazine, but you're looking at the wall of porn right in front of you, and uh, you're just like, I wonder if he'd sell me that uh, that 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 Playboy. 
or Penthouse. And Penthouse was daring as Ooh, fuck. Yeah. And then yeah. when Hustler came out, holy shit. That just knocked everything. See, you uh, millennials out here, if there are any millennials listening, you don't know what it was like trying to get born when you were a kid. Now you just look up boobies on your goddamn you iPhone. Plenty, yeah. Hell, your iPod, you could do that. <laughs> when iPods oh. first came out, you the only thing you could look up was what you had in it. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I... Uh, I remember one of my neighbor's friends had had Playboys. His dad had a subscription to it. And, of course, we'd be hiding in the corner of the basement. And he knew what dad kept his copies, well, right? No, it was like a fucking fortress of Playboys this kid had. <laughs> like, one of the one of the types of houses in the com- in, in a development that I grew up in, there was ranch homes, and then they had ones with all these funny little alcoves and shit all over the place. And uh, And this kid had, like... He was he, he was like he was nesting in Playboy. Yeah, uh, it was fantastic, but uh, I don't think he got a date until he was like thirty, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a big problem because he thought that porn was the way to go. Even though I don't believe Playboy is porn, I don't think it falls under porn. Um, People call it porn. Yeah, of course they do, but it is really. Um I mean, yeah. Quasi-pornographic. Yeah, because it's not... Because they had the fur burger on there. <laughs> but they're not, like, they don't, they're not doing anything to themselves generally. Uh, no, but you are when you're... Oh, uh, well, yeah, made. but, you know, but the pictures, them, <laughs> the pictures themselves, other than being full nude, are generally clean. Nobody's getting plowed or anything, you know? Where in those other magazines, the they are. House. Right. Mm, yeah. So there's no actual sexual activity. It's simply... You know poses, so you know I think that's that's a big difference. I went to Canada with a friend, a couple of a few friends. Oh, and, Canada! Yeah. Oh shit! I'm singing on our show. On Fuck. way on the way back, for whatever reason, um, one of the friends felt a need. You know, I think he had, I, think had, I know who this friend he is. had been lonely for a couple of days. And so he's no like, he wanted that. he wanted to get a couple of magazines, you know. He's like, hey, let me get a couple of mag. He wanted to get Canadian porn for the trip back, you know, because we're in a different country, be completely different. And yeah, everything because else. it's different. Yeah. So whatever. Right. He goes up. He looks at a bunch of magazines. Is like, oh, stuff he's looking at. So he, Ding he dong ends up, ditch. No, he, he ends up picking up voluptuous. All right. <laughs> I would have just read it for the articles myself too, but uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they kept putting those pictures in there. Yeah, uh, pesky so pictures. He gets his magazine voluptuous, and oh, he, he doesn't. He like skims through it real quick. He's barely the guy who, when he moved, he barely looked at it. Hold on, hold on. Okay. He barely looked at it. Right. All right. Oh, you know, he all he him and his mind all he saw was big boobs. Yeah. All right, great, great. Okay, that's what I want. Boom. So we're driving back from Canada. Oh, no. And he's looking at it, and he's like, "Guy, oh, oh these these girls are disgusting." Right? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Voluptuous. And then the other guy, one of the other guys, is like, "Yeah, it's big chicks, thick chicks." And but he's like, "Well, I don't like thick chicks." I tried telling you that, dumbass. But he's uh, what's wrong with thick chicks? I, again, you know, if you like it, that's fine. I knew he didn't, but he, you know, like I said, he just. Quickly looked at the boobs, the big boob pics, and that was it. You know, so then he's looking at the rest of it. He's like, what the fuck is this shit? Well, I know exactly who this is. Yeah. So he's like, what the fuck is this shit? I don't need this, blah, blah, blah. So whatever, that's fine. You know, (laughs) and he has some other magazine, like Hustler. He had Hustler or something like that. I can get this in America. (laughs) the, The best part is we get to the border. <laughs> he starts freaking out. What am I going to do with this contraband? A contraband. <laughs> I love it. What am I going to do with this contraband? People try to squeeze guns across the border, and he's, and he's worried about Oh, well, yeah, he's worried he's going to do time. He's, he's worried he's going to do time for bringing booby magazines <laughs> over. And I'm telling you, dude, he's sweating in the back. He's flipping the fuck out. Right, kind of like a bridge over. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so we're like, dude, just put it in the, the bag you had, right, and throw it under the seat. 
guy, guy, what, what, what if the dog finds it? Because right? they have porn sniffing dogs. <laughs> you got it. Specially trained porn sniffing oh, dogs was, to embarrass worried. people like you. They're going to pu- publish yep. your photo in Canadian Pervert Weekly. You, you, you got to see. I mean, like, he's legit panicking. You know how he panics? Legit panicking that he's going to get busted by Canadian Border Patrol for bringing it over a porn magazine. <laughs> And I'm like, dude, they sell the, the same thing in the U.S. No, no, this stuff is from Canada. We can't bring it back. I'm like, dude, I bet if you look inside that magazine, it was printed in California. You know, but he's... <laughs> See, even Tiger Lily knows who it is. <laughs> he's, he's flipping out, right? And so we get up there and... Oh, shit, I'm dying. But, yeah, he, he's, he's in the back. He's sweating bullets. The, the rest of us are all fucking smirking like shit, Right. And so we get up to the booth, and, you know, I have, you know, my thing. Yeah. So the guy looks at me. All right, sir, you look all right. <laughs> yeah, you, you look all right. Uh, can you vouch for these other guys? I'm like, uh, I don't know. And <laughs> I'm like, oh. Um, and I, 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 t- I take that moment, okay. right? Yeah, and I said, "I'm kidding." Yeah, and they're all like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> right, right in front of the guy too. The board of all yelling and screaming at me. It was great. Like you piece your asshole. Fuck you. Uh, I- I'm sorry. I have to interrupt yeah. the story real quick. For my brother uh, traveled across country, lived in, moved out to Colorado, but they went up to Canada to visit somebody on the way out west because uh, it's so close. Yeah, you know, you're driving down 95 just. It right across the bridge, up. and you're in there, and then you visit your friend. Well, my brother, at the time, looked like a serial killer. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Big, huge, bushy, black beard, bald head, tattoos all over himself. Um, oh, yeah, written up one arm. All who wander down the other arm are not lost. Arr. Now, in the meantime, I could still just go, <laughs> and he'd go, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so he gets to the border. The border guards go up to the car. They're looking around. Now, this is before September 11. So you didn't, all you need to do is a driver's But he still looks like a fucking serial killer. Oh, yeah. So they're looking at the car over and over. Now, my brother would not pot smoker, not, didn't do drugs, just looked the part. He looked the part, yeah. Yeah. I guess you get beat up in the 90s for having those fucked up haircuts when you were a teenager. You got to do something to, you know. Oh, yeah. You did, no one beat up the mullet guys. They all beat up the kids that had that mushroom haircut or looked like Zach from uh, Save oh, by the Bell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they, yeah. Uh, anyways, so he gets to the uh, to the border guard. And uh, now I don't know if my brother said this or the other guy said this, but this is what not to say to a border guard. <laughs> you have anything to declare? Any uh, uh, alcohol, firearms, or... And one of them, with a smirk on his face, says, uh, Well, you don't got any guns on us, but what do you need? We can get it for you. <laughs> Pull the car over there. They tossed the entire K. It was a K car. Reliant K car. Oh. They emptied that thing out, took the seats out of it and everything. It was like a two-hour ordeal. And then after they were done, there they were, sitting there with a pile of shit. <laughs> Just... All of their belongings and every car seat in the car. They're like, all right, you're free to go. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, got a screwdriver so I can put my seats back in, man. I mean, oh, on. you don't need that. But, uh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, the, uh, like I said, him, uh, buddy sweating it out, coming back border with uh, cause he had nudie magazines. I, he th- like I said, he legit thought he was going to do jail time for that shit. I mean, he's like... I, I think he wanted. To, he thought about throwing it out the window before we got. <laughs> right, and, but and I mean, catch the five hundred dollar fine for littering. Yeah. Well, or, you know, or some border agent like you know, just keep an eye out a camera or something. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. What was that? You threw up back in the woods there. Did you? Uh-huh. Did you vouch for that asshole? <laughs> yeah. All right, that'd be my luck too. Listen, we picked him up. He's a hitchhiker. Uh, he he said he had a gun and a bomb. <laughs> Uh, we don't know who he Help is. us. <laughs> no idea who he is. We were afraid. Apparently, he threw the bomb out the window before we got to the checkpoint. So, 
You can take him away. We'll go home. <laughs> we just want to go home in one piece. Ah, well, Newport girl is in the room. Oh, but yeah, I had to share that story. That's one of my favorites, of course. Uh, one of my favorites of his is. Uh, uh, I, now I wasn't there for it, but I heard about it. Speaking of porn magazines, I was like, hey, dude, you got a lot of porn magazines. Someone went to open one up, and it didn't really open. <laughs> Crunchy. I don't even have a piece of paper nearby. Hold on a second. No, it's- oh, dude, let me see what's in here. Yeah, it was. What the? They're all stuck together. It was like if, you know, remember like a paste you had in school oh. as a kid, right? So you paste two pages together and you pull it. No, he was pasting yeah. like four or five pages. So, together. well, we, him and, you know, there were a few buddies helping him move. And, you know, uh, taking a little break, you know, busting out humps, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and one of the guys starts going through the magazines he's got. No problem, right? He's looking at it. Hey, no problem. Oh. I, w- I, I would have known not. It's him. I, exactly. But, you know, not like touching that. Typical guy just looking at the booby pics, you know. Well, yeah. He's looking. The temptation he just, would have been there. Exactly. He's there. So he's skimming through real quick. And then he just. Like, I mean, that was he, he's like, he grabs it, he's like, and he's not thinking at first, he's like, oh, no. And then once he realized he's what he just if did. He's like that, that send away card that got moist yeah, or something. And so then, then he, once he realized what he did, he's like, do oh, not tell me those pages just stuck Jesus. together. And he's in, you know, who's in tears mm-hmm. laughing. He's crying because he's laughing so hard. And oh, it's just you know, we should he, get this guy in the show. We'll get him up here. He, uh, yeah, he it. he lived in a basement apartment. It was <laughs> it was he lived. When I say basement apartment, it was a basement of a two room house. Okay, a, two, a, a garage converted into two and a half rooms. If you count the bathroom, bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, that's it. Was it worse than the back cave? Yeah. Wow. So it was a, like I said, it was a garage. Uh, maybe at best. To one a single narrow, awful. Mm. But he lived in a basement. Perfect for him. In the basement, it must have been like two hundred Playboy, oh uh, Hustler, or whatever magazine. So you know he he sit there and there he is just reading them. Like you know, he could probably tell you every girl what their what their favorite hobbies were and all that shit. You just made me think of another topic. Oh, found porn. Found porn. I don't know if this. Maybe this is just me. I don't know. Uh, you've not lived in many places on your own, right? No, no, I have. Uh, when you move in, it's broom clean. Yeah, there are little holes in the wall that you find, and in those holes, oh, fifteen boy. to twenty-year-old playboys. Oh, and the hairstyles have changed, and I'm not talking about the stuff on the head. Uh, did I just say that out loud? Yeah, that's not right. Oh. It's funny though. Is it, now see nudie magazines in a hole in the wall. Yeah, is that like a uh, someone was hiding hole? them from somebody? Like a, their own little glory hole? No, um, but they pull the magazine. No, out because you don't want to stick your cock in that. In the hole and no, you don't want to stick it. There's back spiders and shit in there. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. No, nah, it, it, it took me a little bit before I actually stuck my hand in there to look. At, I was looking for traps and shit like that. <laughs> Guys are possessive with their porn, or they used to be. Yeah, because now they lock it in their phone or computer. Exactly, because you know it's hard to get. You know, expensive. You know, I mean, now it's handed out. Yeah, with with you with your iPhone, now free it, porn. Yeah. Any uh, any iPhone, any phone, yeah. any phone, any laptop, any tablet, you just Google booby pics and, you know, you get a thousand for free. pump action hole. That's yeah, right. that's exactly what it is, you know. Yeah, no, you wouldn't want it. Not this. No, you, no. you wouldn't want to go in there blank, you know, Ooh. point blank or, uh, you know, just at, at random. No, I had to hang pictures on the wall to hide all the fist holes that were in there because the guy would get pissed off yeah, and punch the fucking bang. wall. And I, I call this apartment the, the, the Bat Cave. Yeah. I had one window. I had, technically, I had two windows. Three, if you count the bathroom. <laughs> which still was underneath, half underneath a porch. And the living room window, if you want to call it living room, uh, was, again, underneath a porch. So it's a good 15 feet of house to go. 
but uh, right above my bed, uh, the head of my bed was my neighbor's tire. And they would start their car up in the morning, and I would just get kind of woozy from the fumes coming through the basement window. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, they had a stash of porn in there. <laughs> they found that kid dead in a van by the river, so it wasn't, uh... Really? Oh, yeah, he was one of the, uh... He, he was related to the guy who owns the house, but he was, like, on his last legs with the family. <laughs> So I'm like, gee, thanks, you're renting me this place. The last leg with your family place. <laughs> well, yeah, found porn. Some, porn. Somebody's going to live there, right? Well, found porn is another thing is, is you, you know, if you happen to see it, like, on the side of the road or in the woods. That was another thing, finding porn in the woods. Some kid would. That was, that was a gold mine find. Right yeah. There. Yeah. It was pure magic when you found it when you were a kid. Kid being 13, about 13. I think yeah. that's when you start getting interested in that shit. Yeah. Like now it's, what, eight? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which yeah. Which is Well, yeah, they, they started to hit puberty a little, a little younger, you know. Well, I believe uh, uh, there's one person in the audience who probably believes it's all the chemicals in, in the milk and shit, that uh, the food that we eat. Yep. But, uh, oh, yeah, wash your No, back then you didn't have to wash your hands. It was the 80s. Yeah, I guess, right, yeah. We weren't walking around Purell in our pockets no. and no shit like that. No, just wiping boogers on your yeah, shit. There was no yeah. bicycle helmet. The kid who wore a bicycle helmet was the kid who got shit thrown at him every day. And he had to wear the helmet because, well, he couldn't do much on his own. But And I'm not making fun of anybody like that. But, uh, <laughs> ah. Yes, hairstyles from the 70s are coming back. Oh, boy. But uh, there is a question for the ladies. Oh, all ladies. Do you have a uh, no? You no no music queued up for Brown Chicka? Wow, wow. I don't, man. I thought that was, your, that was kind of your. Uh, let me see. Uh, I know I'm bouncing topic to topic. Uh, I'm kind of having um, a, a a scattered night. Yeah, my dick. You want to see it? <laughs> oh, Tiger Lily. So you will touch crusty porn, but not kiss a girl who swallows. There right? is. There it's is a good point. Of, you know, I mean, there is kind and of. And that a, goes back to like uh, a double double standard, or is that just it a, is a, a weird standard? It, it's a weird. I think it is both. It's yeah. definitely both. That's what I was trying to say earlier. That's a fucked up standard. Yeah. So, ladies out there, now we as guys were exposed, and I'm not talking millennials. I'm talking real people who had to hunt and peck for their porn. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Guys had access to it at an earlier age. Women all they had girls, all they had was Playgirl. Oh jeez. Nobody actually oh. got that magazine, did they? Oh. I remember the first time I came across You seen Playgirl. One? Well, a long time ago. I saw yeah, a little hard copy, yeah, yeah. No shit. Yeah, um, I never. I was like, a, I forget where it was. A thing that we talked about. We made fun of guy. You got play girl at your yeah. house. You don't have Playboy. <laughs> and, you know, we'd make fun of the kid. Yeah, he's like, no, I got Playboys. He's like, no, you got play girls. Oh. So yeah, the, oh. it has come up more than once. Traumatized. So. But uh, yeah, I wish Chrissy was on. We could talk about the sorry the glory the hole. Uh, but so women. When you first saw the male genitalia, oh, geez. the penis, what were your first thoughts? That's a real good question, man. You know, I mean, what, what are your thoughts? Guys, it was guy like guy? a mystery. We knew what was there. Yeah. We did. Well, back in the 70s, we didn't really know exactly what was there because yeah. it was, there was a thick covering over And, and, and as, <laughs> as, kids, as kids, you might see... You might see another kid, but it'll be brief. You know, you never really. So I don't think I ever know. Yeah, you know, you know there are times where you, you know, whatever, for whatever reason, dude, at school. I don't know. No, you, I skipped gym class. I fucking skipped every. G- I wouldn't go and change in front of people. I wouldn't but, do it. Then, but then you know, then there's a reality of like you said, that these girls they go, they don't they don't see a grown dick for years. Oh yeah, we're Mason College. I College. So. We're talking guys are are seeing, yeah, the JJ, in like, 
what? Middle school, right? Yeah. And girls, their first experience into porn is college. The and, but I I want it more like what's your reaction to it, you know? Because oh, they're giggling. Is it? Yeah. Well, I mean, what's come your, on. What's your thoughts of you know when you see junk? If you had you a know, turtleneck, just, they're definitely giggling. Ugh. Turtleneck, and like I always say, to get the one with the the, the, the J hook. Oh, you know, the bend up, bend <laughs> the down. U-turn. <laughs> the U turn. The U turn, right? Yeah. How does that happen? Oh, I, too much jerking off. You think? I think. So that's the broken penis thing that we were talking about. Yeah, you can't peni- really, but you can. Penile really? fracture. Yep, yeah, because because it is a muscle. So it's a mu- basically a muscle tear. Can't say I hadn't seen one before that. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, man. oh, she's dirty. But yeah, you know, it's like, I I guess I would love what well, your first reaction, probably you know in your teens would be as for as far as for a I girl. I can only imagine it being horror for a woman. when yeah for a woman the first time they see a, a guy's junk, and I know. love this one, Tiger Lily. I was thinking it looked like some weird puppet. I gotta oh. agree with you. I can't imagine. No, what's I, you, I can't what's you gonna remember, do with that? I can't remember the first. Maybe it was in a. I think it was in a porno. The first other junk oh, that yeah. I ever saw was in a porno. Yeah. And. Couldn't compare to it, I right? felt uh-huh. woefully inadequate. <laughs> I mean, I was probably, what, 13, 14 <coughs> years old, and I just looked at that thing, and I was like. Um, I, I, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> There's no way I can go out in public. I can't pick up women. Uh-huh. And I think that's what that's why I was a, a late bloomer. Like I liked every girl on the block. Yeah, but did I have the courage to go see them? No, no, of because not. you know, as far as you're concerned, you were a few inches too short yeah. from what you saw in the videos. It was like sixty eight pounds, <laughs> long stringy hair, and then it didn't get much better because my first ex wife made me grow a mustache. <laughs> Well, Talking yeah. really, oh, and that's a wow, that's a lot of hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to shave that once in a while. Mm. You know, I mean, got to tame that beast. Yeah. Even the old bumper manscapes once in a blue mm. moon. You know, I just had to throw that at Byron. Uh, uh, oh yeah, ah. I had to look him right in the eyes. Uh, and tell he him. did. <laughs> he looked me right in the eyes. Oh, uh, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Uh. You're a little overreacting there. No, I'm. I'm. I'm I think I'm uh, reacting appropriately. If if I never see your junk, I will be very happy. Yeah, it works for both of us, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are things that. Hold on. Uh, Is this like one of those nine seven six numbers? Um, what are you wearing? <laughs> oh. But yeah, pretty much my experience with girls is when when I'd walk up to them, I'd be like. Oh, Mr. And, Smooth. And, yeah, well, I got laughed right out of the room on yeah. that one. That huh. was no good. I had no skill. I turned 40 all of a sudden. I've got, uh, I'm like Robert Goulet. Hey, how are you? Oh, my goodness. All those years of smoking finally caught up with you. Baritoned out my voice, and I was good enough. <laughs> well, I walked around talking like this for most of my life. Oh, I gotta play my disclaimer. The Wicked Pisser show is not responsible for erections lasting more than four hours or for blindness from squirting semen. And stupidity is your own fucking fault. And if you get a late tonight or a blowjob, you're welcome. This mm. awesome fucking show is a Studio 5 production. Yeah, that's semen coming at you. That's... Well, I'll watch out, well, man. Well, you know, Tiger Lily says, uh, what do you think changed, Byron? Um... Manscaping. Oh. Manscaping. Yeah. Womanscaping, too. Yeah, no, but that changed for me. All of a sudden, yeah. I got more confidence because I, I'm like, oh, this is bigger. Trim the hedges back a bit. I had a serious ball throw going, man. <laughs> I was ah. like, boing. Oh, yeah, my line was, hey, I had a crushing. That's only when I'm absolutely annihilated I did that. But Yeah, well, as soon as I get enough to do. Uh... Oh, and by the way, Newport Girl. I had a massive crutch on almost every female in high school. It's, you were just humping legs, weren't you? I tried. I kept on getting swatted away, though. That was, was now when, when I get when I get enough, child. whether it be for the ball throw or enough to do pigtails, I know it's time to. Uh, oh no! To no, no always got to keep it manicured. 
finely tuned and <laughs> you know you want that high speed low drag coefficient going there yeah you trim it down like the lawn and maybe uh shave uh, like a red sox logo into it <laughs> no 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 don't even think about it no i'll get my apple lady out <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> oh shit Oh, oh, except you. Well, oh, wasn't she a little ahead of you though? Uh, she's right. So, well, she was. Uh, I no, with everybody I hung out with it was older than me. Yeah. Um. And uh, that's because everybody in my neighborhood was older than me, and I didn't want to hang out with the weird kid who loved wrestling. He was the kid who ran around and, and chewed bark off of trees and w- always had, like, a broken finger, a sprained wrist, or something. Mm-hmm. And uh, and he had a, a bicycle helmet, too. But, I mean, he was... Now, Tiger Lily has a great question. What do guys do to let girls know they are into them? Like their face? <laughs> now, seriously, guys are, are, again, big, dumb animals. They are, and I think, you know, it's like, I think one concern for guys is they don't want to come on too strong, you know, through that way they offend. Who? Well, you, you, you. you oh, you know, I don't know, but. Right, I mean, oh, some guys do. The one guy that we know, he Sticky does, Page is afraid of Canada. He is, but he won't, he wouldn't talk, he wouldn't talk to us all. No. That's the thing. So, uh, he, he wouldn't, he would never. Well, he's, he's either zero or, or 200%. Right, but the 200% is. Talk only to you and I. Oh yeah. If the girl goes up to him, no, 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 no. This that's it. He's all done. Yeah. So, you know, I think then you get some guys who are overboard as far as hey baby, I want to lick your shit. Yeah. Back to my uh, pad and uh, yeah, something weird. And you know what? Hey, you know what? If, If that's something she's up for, she's up for something like that. Hey, good for her, whatever. But you don't start the conversation off like that, like that you know. You got to work up to that. You got to, you know, hey, how you doing? Say hi first. Not like some some guys will literally say, "Oh, I want to lick your ass." Uh, no, I don't think I've ever met a guy. Oh, I, you know, and I knew a couple of guys like that. Yeah, I and love, that shit worked for him though. And it does, right? Because there are there's a, the percentage for there's a percentage of all types. Think about it. Okay, there is a percentage of girls that would accept a guy that, you know, wants to lick your face, you know? so Ask if they're interested in talking. Yeah, uh, Giz, I got to tell you, my lifetime. Oh, here we go. School dances. Oh, preach it, Father Byron, preach it. Hi, uh, you'll go over in the corner and talk. Who are you? That's pretty much what I got. <laughs> that look of disgust, dripping with sarcasm. No, I don't want to talk to you. Oh. No, I got a lot of that. Uh, I always danced with uh, the Undanceables. The Undanceables? School. Yeah, they're just... Uh, my fir- I'll never forget the first dance no. at high school. Hudson Catholic. Girl said yes to your request? Yep. Just like that. It came. The priest blessed me before I went. I walked over, took her hand. Stairway to Heaven began to play. <laughs> of course, it was the last song of the night. I had finally, you know. And but was it? I, I grabbed my balls and then put my hands around her waist because she was six foot something. <laughs> and so she put her arms on my shoulders, and they were very heavy arms. I remember that. And then we did that dance. Everybody knows just the dance. Yeah. Side to side uh, uh, uh. to side. And maybe a step back and a step forward. Side to side. And the step forward and back was so you could turn around and look at everybody else. And I had to, like, crane my head. Oh, Jesus. Wrong, wrong way. <laughs> I had to crane my head. The girl I really oh, wanted God. to dance with is over there. And, no, uh, I'm, I'm with her. I do have to say I have to thank her very much for, for the first dance, but yep, that was the last traditional last song dance of the 80s. Uh, I do recall uh, my competition for that dance. Uh, 
we threw a cup of water at his crotch, and he had to hide the bathroom for the last dance, drying off his crotch. Yeah, that's all. Uh, no, nah, well, hey, listen, it was him or me, and my friends would rather see me ah. go up there. Uh, shyness is a good defense mechanism. I would have to say it is also uh, something that'll that'll mess you up. It will because you know, like shy, you'll get married to the first girl who that does, challenges that, yes, you. But then you, you miss out on opportunities because you're shy because you don't ask the right girl, the girl that you really Getting want. Getting married when you're 21 is not an opportunity; it's a penalty. Don't do it. Huh. If you're 21 and thinking about it, don't do it. And then if you're how old again? Was the second one? That was for insurance benefits. <laughs> <laughs> and tax break. At the time, there was a massive tax break for married couples. Yeah. yeah. And we needed all the money we could get. You're not right. At the time, no. Oh, but now, now you are. Still not right. I got mice, ants. Vertigo. You know, <laughs> Anybody that, looking for anyone? <laughs> you know, shyness can be a good defense mechanism. It works. I think it works both ways. I mean, like, I think if uh, your significant other knows you're shy, they might like that because they'll they'll think that you know he, he won't do anything else with somebody else because he's too shy. You know, it, it is like I think a safety net there because it's so shy. Either that, or he's a homicidal maniac who's looking to kill people. The quiet ones. Watch out for the quiet ones. Ah. Yeah. Oh, right, right. What? <laughs> it's true, I have, though. I, I, I have to tell you something after. What oh. do we got for time? Oh, my God. Uh, we got time for one more beer? We do. Yeah, let's do another break. We have time for another break. Uh, i got to go pee. All right, we're going to play, after all this talk, we're going to play One Good Lick. Power Glide. Speaking of <laughs> being quiet and observant. One good lick, and we will be back in just a few minutes, folks. It's Power Glide. One good lick. I'm going to the bathroom first. And I'm going to get a drink. <laughs> Cause I'll take a lot 
This Ooh. one right here. Give you a splat on my little screen here. Going out to uh, all of our listeners. Yep. We got... Oh, man, it smells good. Line and Kugels, Summer Shanty. Ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> summer has arrived. We gotta love it. I was just thinking that. I, I saw uh, um, oh. the, uh, the, the studio high above uh, uh, um, the towers there. What? what what's their tower? Beck Tower. Beck Tower. Sorry, I forgot. I'm really not with it at the moment. Yep, yep. That wants to get hot as fuck up there. Oh, my God, you think? Ooh. We got an AC unit in there? I don't know. Maybe we should send them, like, a portable one or something. Just well, I'm one. buying another one once fall comes around. <laughs> yeah, it's cheap fuck. Yeah, get it up and offer up. All yeah. those people huh. selling shit for... Uh, but, uh, yeah, we've got a new addition coming to uh, the Wicked Pisses show in Studio 5. We're getting a new refrigerator with a built-in microwave Ooh. and freezer so we can keep, like, like little, uh, what do you call it, like uh, Totino's pizza yeah. rolls. We can cook them up during the break, and we could be sitting here going, Whoa, welcome back. <laughs> I just burnt the roof from my mouth. Oh, shit. As our black dog said, uh, he's been married for 22 years. He's forgotten how to date. Uh, I can relate to that, man. I've been married 21 years. It's not uh, easy. No. Uh, so we're there together. Uh, I bought two ACs today. There you go. Uh, micro fridge. Oh, uh, you know, the good thing about this is that when the new studio is done, we'll still have this studio. Uh, you know, we'll play back and forth kind of thing. Sure. Uh, During the winter when we know it's not going to be awfully warm there. We'll- yeah. Yeah. I think it's just it's nice to have for for both of us to be able to have a change of scenery, or we could do remote. So if I don't feel like getting out of bed, <laughs> yeah, we can just link up by Skype and. Uh, oh, and trust me, he'll feel like that a lot of times. Oh yeah, lazy ass. We'll we'll but we'll turn at least on here. The, I force him to get up. And we'll fun. turn the cameras on. Yeah, proof positive that no one's sitting there in their underwear. It's gonna yeah. You know what? I'm I'm gonna turn it on, and the camera is gonna be a like a crayon kind of, picture of you. Yeah. You know, purple hair and stuff. I'm going to have, like, a uh, Bluetooth headset on. I'm going to be out in my recliner. Yeah. Fucking, it is hey. tidy whitey. There's nothing on. Oh, yeah. It's fucking hot as fuck. And oh, yeah. He's too cheap to turn the AC on. Yeah. Or the, the, uh, the heat. Leave that sucker at 50. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, you know, I was, I was recently thanked for not being a serial killer. Outstanding. Uh, that, was kinda, that, was, that was a funny thing. I'm kind of glad you're not either. Yeah. I, so, uh for all those, you can put that on the list. I am not a serial killer. Uh, so, maybe next time. <laughs> I oh, I mean, every once in a while, I, get, I, I do a little pang of panic sets in. We're, huh. we're in the middle of Indiana, and you look over at me, you laugh, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. is he a it. serial I'll killer? leave it right here. I just buried my wife. Oh, my God. Like, ten minutes ago in that little opening over there. Uh, but yeah, it'll be a good time. Uh, but go back on a subject as far as you know, dating. You know, it's picking up chicks, picking up guys, whether it be guys or chicks. How do you do it? Chicks you know? with dicks. How do you do it? I mean, say say you were back in the dating game. Okay, literally, like, honest to God, you're thirty thirty years old again. You still you want to give love a try? Thirty you years want. old, I was a loser. So, all right, well, 35. Right? 30 years old, here's Byron. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> see, I can't if, even get that right. If you're, because you got too many fucking windows open. I, I can see all the shit you got going over there. Well, I'm trying to it's get. Ridiculous. Uh, yeah. But again, how do you, all right, whether it be five years ago, okay, or, or right now, you want to start over, you want to give honest dating a shot, okay? How do you go? How do you go about it? Be Are you nice. able? But you know that. I guess you also have to be committed to it, though. 
Because like, like like you, as we've discussed many times, is you're you're nice, you're charming to some that can be misleading, because you have to honestly be open to a relationship. Do I? Yeah. All right. Da, 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 da. That's the dating game with so. your host Bubba. Yeah. And the first guest today, Byron. Byron, right here, fresh off of Fet Life. I'm looking to get my uh, my home copy of the game and some turtle wax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's man. for all of you there who are old enough to to know that. <laughs> oh, but you know, I mean, could could you honestly get back into not not that you want to right now, but if you were to. I, are you capable? Do you think you you would be capable to get back into uh, uh, like serious dating? I'm telling you, it's not easy. Yeah, uh, I, I I have the uh, the Plenty of Fish app. Yeah, uh, the only time I go to reference that on the shitter. Yeah, you can only read so many people bitching vague booking on Facebook. Your soul will never be redeemed for the shit that you did. <laughs> really? <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking about? And why do you feel the need to express this vagueness? So I go on to... Uh, to now, I've noticed the profiles with one photo. Yeah. Not real. No? No. Women like to show many aspects of their lives. They're driving a car. All right. They're duck-facing. They're cooking meals, or they're posing with their 11 children, which is a little odd. You don't put your kids on a dating site. What the fuck's the matter with you? Uh, And then you actually have to read the profiles. Anything that says, I've just recently gotten out of a toxic relationship, bang, right there, bot. Now, Somebody from South Africa right now is trying to get your money. I think that's me. Um, yep, that's me. Yeah, this. I'm just. I guess it's just weird. I. I don't know why that came up. It's uh, something I seen recently. Dating a lot of people can't really get back into that game. Difficult, especially. At, I guess at a certain age, it, it's like nearly impossible. You know, what I mean, especially at your age. And I hate to sound rude, but like, uh, you're not. Well, well, I'm the elderly. I can't as, as you hit. Your age or, you know, gizzard's age, uh, you know, on up, how do you, you know, when, when do you find your, uh, your end point? Is it difficult? Um, you know, you, you, because basically the only other, the only people who are going to date you are other elderly people. Once you get to the elderly age, I'm not saying right now, you know. That's what I fear. Exactly. That's Banging what I'm and breaking legs. <laughs> You're wrong. Ribs. You don't know if it's going to yeah. be yours. It's or a crapshoot. Yeah, so yeah, how how does a how does a single sixty five year old uh, handle that? There's some you know? bizarreness going on yeah. online. I, we we have the uh, the Wikipedia News Center yeah. is is on in the corner. We are uh, you yeah, know catching a glimpse of Periscope, our uh, one of the where we'll be next week. Patty Cakes is uh, periscoping at the moment, and uh, she's having a good old time at the shanty bar there. Sure. With her friend. Uh, so, Byron's trying to keep an eye on everything. I am. I, I keep abreast of the Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, why, that's why his phone keeps beeping. He's got everything going on. Do, 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 do. So, um, but I am on God's good humor. When it's time, it's time. You're right. Yeah, when it's time, it's time. You know, you got to, it's, I guess you're right. You know, it's just, I just look at it as if, uh, you know, it became, like for me, all right, I'm married, but like say at fifty, I become single. You know, it's not that I'm looking to. Oh my oh, right, god! Right? Not that I'm looking to. Wait, you would oh. be lost. You'd that, be like that's a deer. Exactly. I mean, how does it go? You'd be like walking around, and you're going to have some eighty year old going, "A bag one, Martha." I would. Yeah, I would. That's I guess what I'm interested in is how you know as a fifty or sixty year old guy become a newly single man. You know, new dentures. Yeah, I guess, right? I mean, how? Because you, you're gonna be lonely, and that's like, as uh, Gizzard said, I'm God's good humor. Guy. It's time is time. Uh, but yeah, I don't. 
Um, ah, hold on. What, you know, what questions would a girl ask you uh, in when dating that would, would freak you out? You have, is there a particular question that would come out of her mouth that would make you think, yeah, maybe we shouldn't? Um, it was there a minute ago. Give me one second. Um, have you had your hepatitis shot yet? <laughs> ah. Oh, how do you feel about HPV? Oh, right? oh, oh. Uh, that is a big uh, issue. Yeah, yeah. That is a big issue. So, I get, I, Apparently, everybody's got it. But. I oh oh. What do you look at you up for? Oh, you can use it. You you can get it from you know on a, using a public pay toilet or something. Yeah, I know. I I know a guy who dated a girl knowingly knew she had it, and you know he so you know so went with it. That's kind of cold. Oh. Oh. Really? Yeah. Right. So. There are some questions that, you know, I, I, I'll ask. I want to. I'll bring them up, and I want to hear what you and the uh, other listeners think, if they think it's appropriate. I, all right. So, Tiger Lily asked, "Do you want kids who, that send you packing fast?" I don't think it would, <laughs> because eventually I am going to get old enough where I know that I am not going to. I don't make enough money to survive. I got to have somebody to care for me, right? Yeah. Well, I think when also as you get older. Um, I think your choices get more and more limited. I mean, you're going to find women that most of them at that age are divorced or um, widowed, widowed, you know, mothers, wives, mothers. So they're going to they're, they're going to be grandmothers and great grandmothers. Exactly. Okay. So I mean, you know, you have to be willing to literally willing to step into change your standards. A grandfather role. You might skip the whole father bit. But you're going to be a well, grandfather. It's not bad. I mean, my, my grandmother on my father's side, wh- who I knew as my grandmother, was my actually my step-grandmother. Um, you know, it, it, looking at it from a kid's thing, yeah, it was fine by me. Yeah. Grandpa was happy. Little did I know what was going on. Oh. But. Sorry. I, no, I mean, you're right. It's, it's, you know, like you said, though, you get, you're going to get to a certain age where. You know, you're going to be lonely one way or the other. Um, you know, I, 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 to not be lonely, you're going to have to make some exceptions to your standards or rules or expectations. Right? I mean, do you, you yeah, think, do you think that? Yeah, but according to you guys, I mean, you and, uh, and, and Allie, I have no standards. <laughs> Horror! Yeah, pretty much. And you know what? That can bring us up right here to... Mm-hmm. A card, the postcard that Allie sent us. From Eugene, Oregon. Eugene, Oregon. For our good friend, Eugene. Looks like she's in the woods. Yeah. Hey, but guys. Somebody, it look, actually, it looks like a photo that was taken off of somebody's front porch. They got that, that light on the driveway. Yep. I don't know. Um, but I will read it real quick. Hey, guys. So miss being in the studio with you both. Uh, love the new studio. Uh, referring to the future one as months away. Um, I hope all is well. Take care. Let me know when the next show is. Uh, uh, tonight. It's tonight. And she, she knew that. Uh, she might call in. I know she, she commented. She, she was commented. In, she she's was listening. In. That's great. But she's um, West Coast now. Yeah. And, you know, again, we still have to, we're gonna have to figure out another way to, another kink, another way for her to call in. Um, also, she addressed it to the Pissa Boys. Uh, the studio I drew here. something rather, and she drew a penis into an ass, and then writes just, just two, two knuckles, yeah. ha ha whore. So love Allie. The smiley mailman face for oh yeah, they must have got Meadow a fucking Brooke ride on that was one. Was huh? looking at that going, ha ha whore. Kind of ass gaskets right? oh. are here. Uh, but thank you for postcard that'll go on the wall here. That was our second letter. So that's ever. right. Oh, well, I, I mean, not, but, hey, wait a minute. This is a second person. Now, with the fact that it's a penis going into an ass, I mean, this is almost hate mail. Calling you a whore. We've and, got hate mail. Right? <laughs> we got a hate mail here. Even though it came from one of our own. <laughs> oh, we got hate mail. Uh, so I got some random questions here I want to ask. And tell me if this is 
good, bad, or uh, as far as to ask uh, somebody I'm that sit back for this one. Um, so I, I guess really you'd have to take how far into relationship you are. So let's say you, you just you just started dating, maybe made out a little bit, okay? So we'll put it at that. All right. This one question here: How many different positions do you think you have tried so far? Is that coming off too strong? <laughs> Is that coming off too strong? <laughs> Sorry, honest to God, that was just exact right timing for that. Where <coughs> I inhaled some spit and <laughs> coughed, and uh, at the same time I started laughing. I'm like, "Son of a bitch, he got me two, two for there." Well, Patty Cakes is back, and we did watch your little uh, shanty thing there. Uh, your friend hiding under. Oh. Um, Three positions. So mm. How many positions do you think you have tried so far? Three positions. <laughs> the um, yeah, and how many? You know, so if you're just starting in a, a dating in a relationship, you like I said, you're only a month or two into a relationship. Um, you know, it, it, are these questions that are too much to ask? Or you know, or is it normal? I don't know. I think the more you know, the better. Yeah, knowledge is power. I How learned about, that from Saturday morning cartoons when I was a kid. Is it good? Or what kind of sounds do you make during sex? Maybe every once in a while, and on a really fucked up night. Oh, <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, um. Could you go a week without any sex? Oh, yeah. How about a month? Yeah. Guys our age, we kind of tend to be that way. No, I've been in training all my life for that. So Yeah, you just... Uh, high school was, was the longest dry spell <laughs> of my life. Uh, I had to go out of state to, to uh, you know... But... Uh, and... So, all right, can't go how about a month. Uh, what is the sexiest outfit that you can think of? What um, is a sexy outfit? Banana hammock. Banana <laughs> hammock. You're going to wear a banana hammock. Maybe you I'm should wear that to, over to Shanty. Start, uh, I haven't eaten plus. anything. I, I had bacon this morning. No. So. What, what do you like on a woman that just absolutely... Um, absolutely nothing. No, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it, well, obviously, you know, I mean, yeah. nudity is best, but I mean, it is. If you had to pick, it is. If you had to pick clothing, what works for you? <sighs> Gizzard likes the black lace. Yeah, Tiger Lily's loud. Hmm. Um. Something that's easy to get through. Patty Cakes has got a good one right there. Sexy bra and panties. Just, you know, the matching set that, you know, girl. most girls always want to try to have the matching set, but it's just simply not possible. The cost of fucking bras and panties that fucking, you well, know. Have, have, have those uh, combination locks on the uh, clasps yeah. in the back. <laughs> oh, bra, bra, you know, the, the, the nice bras, Victoria's Secrets or whatever, fucking expensive. So uh, the, yeah. these girls that try to match their clothes... It's that's an expensive uh, little journey, there, yeah. yeah. So you know they they end up getting their panties at uh, Target or Walmart. You know, five, five for ten bucks or whatever the fuck it might be. You know, uh, things like that. <laughs> Made in America. Well, no, they still yeah, but they, they still <laughs> buy the nice ones. They have a few matching sets and stuff. Um, but yeah, right, you know, fifty bucks for plus for a set. You know, I mean, yeah, but fifty bucks for something that's going to end up on the floor. Or flung on a seat somewhere. Yeah. I mean... Gizzard. I got Gizzard idea. Leather boots above the knee. Ooh, leather boots are good. Yeah. Boots are good. The tall, the the long boots. Boots are good. Yeah. They're a pain in the ass to get off, but they're good. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking for a hurry. uh, Some people just want the the quick... uh, Others go for the marathon stuff, you know. As Maddie Gigs, I'm quick to get naked anyway. The that that's a treat. Well, I mean, like, think about it. If a girl, if like, if you turn around and a girl's just buck naked, right? That is like, whoa, wait a minute, you had your all your clothes on, and 
Right, exactly. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Boom, you turn around, she's already naked. It's like, oh, shit. Uh, the tiger lady, don't you keep the boots on? I don't, you know what? I don't know. What, would you Would yeah. you want to naked with those boots on, the big yeah. the sexy boots? Yeah. Give that a try. Give it a whirl. Oh. Got to try everything. Uh... I think, uh, yeah, I, li- I like dresses. Um, I like girls in a dress. Oh, yeah. And, easy access. Yeah. Flip, well, not only the flip easy it in. access, I, you know, mm. it's... Insert tab A yeah, into the, slot B. But it's that, the undressing part that's kind of nice with a... What do you mean undressing? Just flip uh, up. <laughs> you can, but you could also be to continue your four to six hour Mr. Sensual bullshit over there. You can. Take a, unzip it nicely. I see someone starting to see things my way. I, right? I don't, <laughs> I don't, yeah. Oh, hardly, hardly. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> the... Um, Ain't nobody got time no, for that. Oh shit. But like a dress that uh a side zip. A side zip is really Well nice. then you get side boob. The, the back is nice because you, know, you hold it close to the fantastic. Yeah. Side exactly. You get the side zip, you get the side boob. I'm a very side touching kind of guy, so <sighs> to me kind of guy. Yeah. To me that's really nice. Um But yeah, uh, let me go to the next question. Uh you get sleepy after sex. Uh, Some girls do. I don't. I think girls tend to be more energetic after it. Really? What do you think? I don't know. A lot of them. Nah, nah, this, well, is gonna sound rude. Talk. this is going to sound rude. They want to talk, right? <laughs> no, no. I mean, a lot of you. Just, I, I don't mind to talk. But. No, I don't either. But. Uh, <sighs> This is this is a, where, where it comes in that, that uncomfortable time. Do you turn on the TV? <laughs> what do you do now? Right? Yeah. What's next? I'm gonna get some water. Um, that you know that kind of. Yeah. I'm all into side boob, and hopefully we <laughs> have some side boob going on at uh, at the Bates uh, oh, the Shanty Blast. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be the Bates Motel Shanty Blast. That's what we're calling it. Side boob is is the new full on topless. Someone like Bambi on ice. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, patty cakes! You need to teach me how to snow the show the side boob. Show the side boob. Oh, um, well, when we are at the uh, shanty bars, Byron will be more than happy to take a few pictures of how how I rock the side boob. Yeah, the moob. Yeah, I don't. I'm kind of. But, I, well, I'm, I am we'll, less we'll than we'll an egg. We'll find somebody in the audience that would want to show us. Well, you? I mean, you got like a B cup going on there. What do you got? Who, me? Yeah. I don't know. A. A big, a big A, but no, there's no... I am a carpenter's dream. <laughs> Flat as a board. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I'm sure we'll try, to, we'll try to find somebody in the audience that wants to participate in a demonstration on how to properly show side boob. And we will post photos. Yeah. So No, pay, patty, no faces. Patty cakes. We will ask somebody who will be trying to do that. No, I don't want to put you in that uh, position. You know I mean? If, if you want to, that's fine. But... Um, you know, right? Exactly. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <is>, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, no. I, continuing all the sleepy after sex. How, women, the girls here. Do you guys get sleepy after sex? You know. Um, do I? I don't know if I. Uh, I, I feel. I feel. Like relieved, maybe a little tired, but hungry. Yeah. Oh, definitely hungry after. Uh, yeah. Uh, after. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. After coitus. Yeah. Exactly. Excellent choice. Yeah. Um. Kind of. I've been saying nasty shit. Well, all next night question is: So a girl asks you, or if you ask her, oh, okay. How long will it take for you to get over here and get into my pants? That's that's a trick question. If a girl asks you right now, trick question. Why? Why is it a trick question? Yeah, I got a ser- yeah, I got I got a serious car. You know how fast I go on these side roads. And most of the most of the cops now just wave at me while I go racing by him because they know that I got something going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I, I, is that an appropriate question? Is that rude? Is that cool? If it's a girl, yeah, I guess if you if you see her, that's if the girl's asking, yeah, that's not that's uh, it's being honest and straightforward. 
Do you still talk to the person you lost your virginity to? No. 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 You even I, remember who it was? Yeah. Okay. That would be that would be the real dirty. Question. I had I went to go see her like six months later and had the cops called on me. <laughs> Guess you don't want to see you anymore. No, uh, I showed up the wrong house. And I loitered on the front line a little too long. And listen, I was a kid. All the houses looked the same in that fucking neighborhood too. It was all new houses. Yeah, they all looked the same. And I went there when it was dark in the first place. Left when it was dark. And uh, <laughs> yeah. here's a here's a question that I think everyone can answer. Have you ever had sex with someone that you weren't really attracted to? Yep. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Is there is there shame there at all or mm. no. I mean if people knew who it was, yeah. But um I guess yeah, you know, I don't know. So if people knew then you would that would be I guess. I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Um yeah, I haven't I don't we haven't had. No, you're innocent. Completely, utterly innocent. Yes, I am. What was the best sex that you've ever had? Best sex. I'm going to tweet. I'm going to fucking tweet that shit right now. What was the best sex? Yeah. Boat was pretty good. Boat? Boat. Your boat? Yeah. In the middle of a lake, in the middle of the night. <laughs> um, an island. An in the island. middle of that lake. Oh, there you go. That's something different. It was. You're just getting a lot of pine needles out of your ass. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, but you're the only one there. That's kind of cool. But again, it wasn't really that great. I mean, I think, I think the location was great. The problem was I was young. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got to... Hmm. It's a tough one. Best ever. Gizzard, my ex and I were playing whipped cream and chocolate. Mm. That's uh I'm not really into that. Yeah. Only because I know You don't like the food buffet or the nibble or <sighs> whipped cream slurp up. Keep it separate. Well, yeah, yeah. Is it, are you worried about like if it get too messy? Or? Yeah, it's well, it's not supposed to be like you just douse in whipped cream. You know, you just no. Put, but what you see online, yeah, it's some girl squirting a Hershey's bottle all oh, over right, herself. Right. No, and I'm, I'm like, no, I'm but, looking, going, fuck. I'm gonna have sticky. to get a carpet cleaner. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Oh my god, the so mess that would make. I'm gonna have to throw out the base to the mattress. You know. Get, get the waterproof uh, mattress cover. But I would like ice cubes. Ice cubes. You ever do that? Ice cubes. I, ice, I have. Ice hockey. You ever, uh, you ever do the hockey? No. You know, between, take an ice cube between your teeth. You go down between the legs. Hmm. You I'll go. have to go. Yeah. Um, oh, Patty Cakes did not like the ice cubes. Yeah, yeah I, I, I've 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 played around with ice cubes. Again, they get kind of damp. Well, some because don't like the cold. You know, like some don't. Some mind. do, right? Yeah, some do. Some don't. Uh, some don't like to be hot during sex, and you know. I hate, well, the problem is I I'm like a I, I need a sweatband. I'm like McEnroe wearing a sweatband from the seventies. It's I, awful. I need a fan right on my ass. Yeah. <laughs> I just I I think. Uh, I think a woman sweating up during sex is fucking hot as hell. I love it. When, uh, you know, uh, yeah, no. They're I like, know. ooh. You know, they're like. Yeah, but once you're done, you're peeling yourself off and it's not. The trick, my boy, the trick. You have to peel yourself away quickly. To never be done. Be ready for another one. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it was all hard. How about the weirdest sexual experience? Complete weird. Something that just like, what the fuck did I just do? The muddy helmet. 
A helmet? The muddy helmet. The mu- Why did you Purely do by accident. Pulled back on the bow a little too much and... Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, that was a... That was a different one. Oh. Didn't even know it. I was so hammered at that time. Gasps. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Would you ask... Sex in the Lake of the Ozarks. Oh, well, I've heard of that's it. That's pretty cool. That's all, that's, I, I'm, I'm tempted to make that travel myself. I'm Googling Ozarks Oh, right shit, now. right? <laughs> um, all I can hear are mosquitoes. At so. what point would you ask... What it, now, I'm, I'm asking the people, too, here. Foot the listeners, <laughs> The listeners, uh, would you use a toy on me? I Now, I personally don't want a toy used uh, on me. Right? Yeah, I mean, I don't think you do either, do you? But how about if, if a girl asks you to use a toy on them? I'm not intimidated by them. Yeah. As a matter well, of fact. But it's not really a preference, is it? No. I mean, I've never uh. had one used on me. I've <laughs> been the user. Right, right. A user on, on yeah. them, yeah. Um, and it kind of made this noise, too. You know? It was old. It was an old, long time ago. Yeah. Before they got the silent ones. Now, I mean... Before, it was like, and you knew what was going on. Three rooms over, Christ, you knew what was going on. I think I think if you use, for a guy, he uses his fingers, has it mapped out right, knows exactly where to touch, you never have to use a toy. No, you don't. But yeah. it's never a bad thing. little addition there, you know. Yeah, see, vibes, handcuffs, clothespins, all have a different benefit. Some have some drawbacks. The handcuffs, clothes, what clothes, what are you, all on, on nipples, I guess, right? The clothespins? What are you doing? Some people it's like, like that. Clamp type. Some people like that. Yeah. Uh, you have to be careful around the uh, nippleage area, though. Yeah. Don't want to get that raw. Because, yeah, you could by accident uh, take a bite out of nipple. Oh, Oh, Chewable. God, that just... Chewables. <laughs> well, a- again, boobs are like snacks. It's like nipples and tits, nipples and tits. I'm going to get me more nipples and tits. <laughs> hey, look what Gita just put there. Uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but whips and chains excite me. <laughs> Whip me, beat me, make me write bad checks. I'll tell you my like, little, little, uh, little paddle board. Huh? You want to paddle your? I don't want to paddle junk. myself. I wouldn't mind. Oh, paddling! I'm going to get you a ping pong paddle. There you go. That could be fun. I'm going to right. I'm going to have it like wood burned on there. Wood burn bumpers. Bumpa. Yeah, bump. Just bumper. I don't know if I can leave that mark. <laughs> just boom. Just the way bumper. Boom. Bumper. Right on each <laughs> ass cheek. One on each ass cheek. Boom. Bumper. The fucking thing will be there for a week. Oh. oh. You, you can, can do, do this thing, thing where you clip, clip the pins to the outer lips, then duct tape the pins to the thighs. Oh. oh. She heard that somewhere. Spanking, yes. Yeah, so. A friend of hers told her about that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that, it's... I, don't, I don't know if you clip that. Oh, I, 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 could, I picture what you're saying. I just don't know. I just like. I, I seriously, I, I, need to buy my, of... I need to buy my own home. So you have no neighbors to hear all right, this shit that Right, that, and I, I want to hang a swing. <laughs> you want to swing? Yeah, want to swing. Oh, my God. And you know what? I guess, I don't know, you're, you you have to have the meat curtain, a big enough meat no, curtain to, no, to do no, that. No, I mean, you no, know, no, the outer. Yeah, but then it's under the thighs. I mean, she has to have enough for, I don't know, I mean, no. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't work. Everybody. Right. I mean, Booby yeah. snack instead of a Scooby snack. I like that. <laughs> Rut roll. <laughs> oh, Gizzard is the uh, spokesman for vanilla ice cream. <laughs> so oh. Patty Cakes likes to be thrown around in bed. Hmm. Yeah. What is a meat curtain? Oh, Lord. Oh. Uh, Tiger Lily. Explain that one. <sighs> Without being offensive, I think it's impossible. So you have the outer lips, 
and then you have the inner. Yeah. And you take the inner. But it's the outer lip set when we're talking about that. Some women are. Yeah. Bigger. There's more of, should we say, uh, than others. There is something to be said for vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> low hanging pussy lips. Like low hanging fruit. Yeah. Uh, I now, stop drinking. If you were to have a girl masturbate you, okay, would you be thinking? I like of that smirk that you gave me there. Uh, would you be thinking of someone else? No. Yeah. Because who, who else? What Bruce Jenner? No, <laughs> I'm not thinking that. Well, no, I, I, I agree with you because my theory is and. If you're if with somebody, some, you're with somebody. Right. If I have to think of somebody else, then it's just not going to work for yeah, me. Yeah. Why, why would I, I, don't, I don't, Yeah. Uh, how high, and, and this is more difficult for you as you get older. Oh, yeah. How high is your sex drive? Probably not where it was once, right? But, I mean, it's... I mean, well, that's why God invented Viagra. <laughs> ah! Right? No? Uh, uh, don't ask me. Oh. Oh no, it's there, and apparently it, it gets it goes into like a recession for some of your quote unquote middle age, yeah, and then uh, and then it goes through the roof once you check into the nursing home. Right, a lot of people get injured at the nursing home. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, and Patty Kick says yeah, it depends on your partner. Um, and Tiger Lily higher than it should be. You, not, so Tiger Lily basically is saying you're hornier than you uh, you should be for your age. Or you're, you know, in well, your, I think your it's life. all up to the person. Yeah, I guess, I'm not trying to say age because I don't want to sound rude, but I guess just in your point in life, you're hornier than you think you should your be. your point in life, I think that's even worse. That's more well, condescending. No, uh, because it, 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 it's saying that your age or, you know, whatever your relationship think, status might be or, you know, whatever. Um but yeah, you know, as Petty Kick says, it depends on your partner. Your partner, your partner do enough for you? Does it work for you? Well, just turn forty-five. Oh, she's still uh, young. She's still young. She's just a baby. Leave oh, her alone. Yeah. She, uh, I was walking when she was born. Petty Kick, <laughs> I'm hornier now than ever, and I, and I don't know how old is she. I, no, well, let's not ask. That would be rude. That would be overly rude. Yeah. I think she mentioned it before, but it's not for me to call out. Let the women the, the real, discuss themselves. 61, and I still think about sex daily. God bless you, brother Gizzard. <laughs> 61, no shit. Yeah. Jumping on a planes, eating vanilla ice cream. Dude, you're going for it. What kind of porn turns you on? Do you have a particular type of porn that turns you on? Hmm. I got a boner. <laughs> is there a particular? Is there a particular? Not really. Porn? I, I'm not. I don't. I believe it or not. I, I know you're not a porn guy. You're typically not. I'm a porn not guy. really. I, I. But if you were maybe exhibitionism. Really? There you go. Yeah. Oh, I was speaking volumes. Huh? Well, the, and, uh, the fact that... I, the I know you, you get the big thing about hotel windows. Oh, yeah. 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 Know, right against the window. Yeah, I've done that. And, uh, it's, um, it's revealing. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll try that someday. Oh. Uh, you hear the squeaking in the window? <laughs> oh. Do you yeah. enjoy hotel, hotel? By the way, hotel housekeepers don't like that because then they got to do windows. Oh yeah, you make a mess of a room, and you know, they actually. Have and to, that's why you never they actually sit. Have to change the bed. You never want to sit on a chair in a hotel room. Ah. Never want to sit. Oh. Ever. <laughs> oh, uh, you enjoy making out while drunk. How about that? Are you are you a drunk screwer? I no, I'm not good at it. I'm not at my. I need to be fully cognizant of what's going on, aware of what's going on with my partner. Uh, and if I'm 
ill at all. I don't do well either. No. No. Like, there is no way that I could do anything. You know, I'd die trying at the moment with this vertical thing. But I'd rather not share what I had last had for food. You know? Not that right, right. Yeah. Gizzard enjoys being an out drunk or sober. And uh, I hear there are pictures coming up of Gizzard with uh, Horny Hillary. Oh. No, oh. no, just kidding. Well, we want some. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, how about, is there a position that you dislike? I don't know if there's um, one I seriously like. I don't know. If... I'll let you know when I find one. Well, I'll you know, me, being, me being a big guy, probably you know, guy on top. Well, you have um, a fear of breaking hips and shit. No, no, because I, I, I'm a big guy, but I'm, I'm strong enough to hold up, you know, myself up. You know, I'm not gonna crush it or shit. You know. Oh, um, I, am, I am so out of shape; it's not but even funny. I think you know. I even, get out of breath getting undressed. <laughs> even <laughs> in my even yeah, but even in my younger years, um, my younger, better shape years, it still wasn't it wasn't. I didn't I didn't really like being on top. Well, uh, Tiger Lily dislikes car sex. Some people really like car sex. You? Uh, I. It's an option, I guess, right? Yeah, I, th- I, think, it's, it's, it's I think it's the best way to look at with it. With me, it's always an option. I get those yeah. windows blacked out for a reason. I don't want anyone looking in on me. you know. But when uh, when people start honking horns in the middle of it, that's bad. Yeah. So, oh. but fooling around in a car, I think it's cool. Uh, sex in a car? I mean, if you have a van with a water bed, sure. <laughs> it's tough with the you know, steering wheel there and stuff. It is. You know, in today's cars, just they don't make no. the room. The seats don't go far enough back. They don't make them for yeah, they, sex anymore. <laughs> them bench seats. Yeah. That, the, the, you could that crank them all the way right. back. Yeah, I mean, it was like yeah, it was basically a bed. You it was know, basically yeah, you moved your bed, but the seats didn't tilt back. Yeah, they tilted forward like a fucker. But yeah, I think I, my my theory is that obviously it would be more room if a guy would have jump over on the passenger side and he'd do it over on the passenger side because you don't have that steering wheel. Yeah, but, I also but the noticed, explanation when you get caught, <laughs> a little difficult, <laughs> but. If I remember, in most cars, though, the passenger seat doesn't go far as far back as the driver's seat. So, Mine does. Does it? Mine well, goes back. Yeah. You fell asleep. In yeah, it. but still, I mean, I, I bet the driver's seat goes you back. You curled further. up. Uh, well, it's not like a light. Yeah. I don't have I don't have the issues you people have. Yeah. I mean, you know, and I, <laughs> you know, oh, I can't drive. Um, yeah, it gives it. That's why I drive a pickup truck. And he'd uh, like to try it on his car. You know, a motorcycle. Um. Uh, Hmm. I could see, you know, I, I I'd be afraid of burning my leg in the tailpipe. Yeah, I, I'd be worried about getting stroked off on while I'm driving or, or falling. Yeah, I had a bike fall one time in a parking lot. I, I parked it on fresh pavement, and it just went right up, <laughs> fell the whole thing. Uh, oh yeah, too bad you traded your minivan. All right, uh, patty cakes, something to try. What, what what's to try in a car? Yeah, should give it a shot. Yeah. I'll see it Buddy of mine had a minivan. He had a mattress in the back. <laughs> Funny as fuck. This guy, he liked to drink a lot. And and uh, a little hinty out there in 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 the real world. Uh, I have a couple of friends who are cops, and uh, they typically don't go after minivans. A minivan is not a high target <laughs> kind of pullover kind of thing. They're not, you know. And uh, so you get your shagging wagon, get a minivan. Make sure you do something with the windows, though. Here we go. It, now, here's a real, here's a dirty, a private, really private, dirty question. Um, oh, simply put, <laughs> simply put, you see how, his old, face. how old were you when you started masturbating? It goes everybody, guys, girls. I was pretty young. Yeah. Yeah. I had a girlfriend in kindergarten. <laughs> I don't think you were jerking off in kindergarten, though. No, but no. I did kind of get that funny feeling when I was kissing her. 
It wasn't like anything serious. Like you got fucking issues. Oh, I do remember that kiss though. It was on my birthday. Oh, uh, kindergarten into first grade. I was a very jealous little bastard then. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, actually I was about fifteen. Fifteen, I think. Was Gizzard late. was nineteen. Yeah, I was 15, sixteen. I, I, I had my. Uh, I remember I had my license. I didn't do it with my car, no, but I just oh, remember that time God. I was driving. But yeah, I was sixteen. You're driving well. Uh, I know. I never did that. Self abuse. I know. I know somebody who. I don't know somebody who did. I know um, a woman whose husband was busted doing that at a traffic intersection. Oh, oh charged, I remember you telling me about you know. that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, yeah, I was about sixteen when I did it. Uh, you know, you know me. I'm, I'm a prude, dude. I'm a, you know, I, I. I was young. I'm gonna go eleven. I'm a prude. Never. I, really I guess I was into self discovery when I was younger. Right. <laughs> How about? Have you ever done it in the water? That's, yeah. Yeah. Hot tub. No, I don't recommend it. No. No. Why? Water is not a lubricant. <laughs> it is not. A, it is actually, it, it's a hindrance. Uh, and especially if you're in a hotel pool late at night and you're not supposed to be in there and security's bugging you. <laughs> and no, this wasn't in Vegas. Ha, ha, ha. Mrs. Bacon. I was actually le- legally married to that person at the time. But, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not... All it's cracked up to be, and there's a lot of you know, oh, fuck. I mean, I, anything that touches me right now, I'm freaking I'm like, out. It's a mouse. By the way, uh, during the break, I did say, "Look out! Here it comes! Here it comes!" <laughs> Bump his foot oh, just like, left the ground. What the what, fuck what, is what, coming my way? <laughs> but uh, uh, I, when you're when you're in the corner and you're doing your yeah thing. I, I mean, it's like a tidal wave, and it's forcing <laughs> against you and pushing you away. <laughs> you can just see it. So you just <laughs> pop right out. And uh, well, I'm thinking uh, in the hot tub. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying about you know it's not a lubricant. Hot so tub. You got other you'd people's have to get out of the water. Bodily fluids in there. I know you'd have to kind of kill up, the crap out of it with the chlorine. Yeah, but I hear what you're saying. I mean, it was one of those things that. You know, I don't think I would actually do it in the water. Like, I would stand up slightly out of the water. You know. I got a blowjob in a hot tub, though. Oh, well, amen, huh? At a casino. <laughs> Pretty much. Gobble, gobble, gobble. And I just, it was middle of the day. And I'm like, no, don't do that. Yeah. And, of course, I'm a guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't. Stop. No, I, you know, I, back in my uh, early, dirty years, the, uh, <laughs> Your early dirty years, they uh, are your <laughs> a girl. You just walk right up, stick, yeah. a, stick a hair in a pa- hand in her pants. Hair? Oh, I see. Sorry, What's on your hand, mind? Hand in her pants. So that and was a long says, time like, ago. And it. she just says, like, like you did. No, don't do that. It is no, not a single fight. No, no nothing. Damn. That is followed by heavy breathing. <laughs> fuck. Oh my god. Fuck. I do remember my mom. Coming downstairs, they had this cool basement with a fairly big t. Well, a big TV back in the eighties was like what twenty seven inches. Yeah, I mean that was like monster screen. Um, and uh, quickly move away, and no, you couldn't tell me a pale little Irish kid who was working his life off his whole face beat red, ears you could light a match from. You know, it was. Uh, but uh, let's see, patty cakes. It's hot in a hot tub, in a hit tub or hot tub. Uh, but the water isn't the great. You're right. The water isn't the greatest. Uh, you, I'm always thinking about the people who are either in there or in there after something would happen. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. Those poor bastards dunking their head in there, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Uh, Dude, that's a strong moose you got there. It's keeping your hair up, even in the hot tub. It is a funny question. Uh, have you ever been attracted to a friend's girlfriend? Sure. I say it's funny because, in my case, I married her. So no shit. <laughs> yeah, my 
my wife was uh, she was a, a friend of my girlfriend's at the time. No, and shit. she was always, she had been dating, definitely not a friend. She had of that. been dating my friend. She had been dating my friend, and they broke up. They got a TV show called Wife Swap for that now. Oh, <laughs> see now that's one thing I could never get. You know, it's like the, a wife swap. You know, it's yeah. like it's you know regardless of what your situation is. To me, that that's mine. I don't, I don't, I don't give that up. I'm sorry. I think we're going to have to retitle this show "Another Revealing Show." All right. Well, you know, it's... wait, wait for the uh, another revealing show. Dot dot dot. Wait for the last half. <laughs> <laughs> I I just I look at it as like why well, I I wouldn't want to give that up. You know, uh, have you? Oh, here we go. Have you ever fallen asleep during sex? <laughs> no. 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 Oh, come on. How can you? Yeah, should I? I, I Unless you I are think, so stoned out of your gourd and you're the female. Yeah, that, I guess that would be possible, right? I if mean, you're the female and, and, and... I mean, we know a guy who... And a girl say, I fucking hate you. Shut up! And I'm trying to finish. She probably <laughs> could have gone to sleep. Oh, he did half the time, though. I mean, well, you know that the life is getting crushed out of her, too. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Tiger Lily, yeah, during phone sex. Oh. oh, well, I mean, that can happen. Uh, some some guys get tired of the chick no matter how hard they are. Oh, but... <clears throat> Have you ever cried during sex? Uh, no. No. I, I'm, I, went, I might have stubbed my toe once really badly. <laughs> And a tear may have come up, but no. What do I look like? I am fucking Patrick Swayze throwing a pot on uh, on uh, Ghost. No. Uh, the patty cakes here says uh, some guys get tired of the chick no matter how hot they are. Um, uh, if you fall that. asleep during yeah. sex, you aren't doing it right. Absolutely, gizzard. Um, and oh, it counts. is possible. It is possible. I do know of a guy who did bang a chick who was asleep. <laughs> yeah, well, it is pretty much, uh, but no. Well, they started out, but right in the middle of it, I mean, he just kept on going and going, and then she's just out cold, and he came out of that room going, "Dude, I think I might have fucking killed her." <laughs> I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Oh, it was going really good, and then all of a sudden she stopped moving. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? I think, well, you stopped, right? No. Well, yeah, there's something wrong well, with yeah, you well, there. I'm not done. Why now, should the, I the follow-up question is, do you finish Yeah. once your partner falls asleep on you? <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, my God. That's when you break out the ice cubes. Yeah, right. hello, you all right? Shit. Um, no, patty cakes is cried. Yeah, you know, I mean, well, women tend to obviously are a little more emotional. Far than, more emotional. I, I'm not saying I'm not emotional. I, I play get, non-emotional on the air, but uh, I get very attached. Huh, sounds like a problem. <laughs> it's not a problem. We're gonna have to work on that. Why? I'm gonna you schedule. Me, I'm gonna schedule you for, stu- bath, for Studio you. Five counseling. Oh God! On the couch the, out there next week before the, green, the, show. the green room counseling yeah. center. I'll bring my notepad and pretend not to sleep <laughs> while you uh, tell me all about it. play tic tac toe with yourself? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Uh, or with myself. I don't know. Oh, that's wrong. Good thing he didn't hear that. But I think, uh, to me, if if a girl is emotional with you, well, I'm not saying you have to be, but if she's emotional towards you, with you, then oh, you're doing something right. I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, I think every kind of relationship, no matter how much you say you're not going to get involved, you're going to. There's going to be a piece of you that's always yeah. involved, uh, unless you are a true sociopath. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, I do know a sociopath. I know two sociopaths. Not me. Oh no, I said uh, yeah. You well, know two. Yeah. Yes, you do. I know one. You know, too. Who's the other? Uh, you think him? Oh, uh, that, oh yeah. Yeah, they, uh, yeah. I guess, right? But like I said, I was told I'm not a serial killer and was thanked for not being one. So I'm uh, happy for that. 
Uh, oh, for the ha- yeah, have for you been- not for the serial? Ki- I've got to give you a round of applause. I'm not a serial killer. I know. Yeah. Have you ever had sex in front of a mirror? Yeah. What do you What do you like about it? I don't like watching my own ass. If that's no. what you're asking, you tend to like watch or, or lack thereof. You tend to watch a female partner during it. Boobs. The boobs. You like the yeah. boobs. Want to see them going? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> For those I really can't enjoy. See my arm, just flap. I really. We need to. Pair, uh, we I'll, need I'll, the cameras. I'll, I'll flap my arms like a T Rex. We definitely need cameras in this room. Oh, uh, we definitely need cameras. Yeah, Baba. I know, right? I'm just doing the, the, the booby flapping up. And, yeah, don't you don't. Uh, you know what? You're gonna do your famous booby flappy dance. Uh, at the, uh, I like. I, I say, now famous. I like boobs that are in place. You know what I mean? Like, and I say that because we we talk about how, you know, some women they talk about how they want big boobs, huge boobs, but then when they do, like, they lay down the boobs are here, you know, down here, and nobody wants that. You know, it's it's yeah, the big if you have them in the bra, they're all up here. Boom, take that bra off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You like that? You okay with that? Sure. See, I like it where the boobs stay with us. Some to play with when you're sitting there uh, talking. Oh. Ass jiggling, riding the guy. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's why you get you know, the, the guy. I have a hobby of weighing boobs. Yeah. I enjoy weighing them. I got a scale. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put that up there. Yeah. Uh, I want big boobs. Have a fantasy. I well, I guess, this, I guess this comes back similar to... Uh, the masturbation of you ever thought of someone else? You ever fantasize about someone else during sex? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I again. I think it goes, again. It was the embarrassing moments of getting the wrong person, but at the moment, it was right. <laughs> I think. Uh, I don't. Know. I think. I think. Uh, I'm more. It was a long time ago. Just be focused on the one you're with. And, uh, yeah. I'll show, you, I'll, I'll show you some uh, pictures, okay? Kitchen. I know we already know you've done it in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, done it on the floor? Yeah. Not the best place, especially oh. if you have mice. Oh, you wouldn't have mice. It was Ants. Up. Interesting hobby. <laughs> what is the most <laughs> uncomfortable place you've ever done it? Car. Here's a question for everybody. Car is a challenge. Um, car. Uh, outside of a car, uh, most uncomfortable. Picnic table is pretty comfortable. Yeah? Got to make sure it's well-made and well-painted because you yeah. don't want them splinters. Yeah. Because <sighs> the picnic table, you can stand right up. and. Well, that's a, that's a thing, though, too. With women, you know, some are taller, some are, you know. Mm-hmm. So I think it's, um, if you get the taller chick, now she's got to, like, spread her legs more so she can, you know, things lower down. Could. But, uh, uh. Hold on one second. Uh. Give me one second here. I gotta, I gotta have a little dedication to uh, the one comment. Uh oh. Driver's seat. That's stiff in the tears. Ah. Uh, Ace Records. Oh jeez. But uh, everybody knows that one. Um, yeah. Sorry. No problem. Needed a little. I don't know. I I don't even know what's legal and what's not on the. Uh, <laughs> on, on no, not on sex, but on obviously bestiality is not. Yeah. Not appropriate. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can um, all agree there. Nobody wants to get. Nobody wants to be doing anything and hearing this. <laughs> Do you like going down on a girl? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there? Do you have restrictions? No. No, like. Uh, that is a good question. Some like you know I, if you know, there is foul uh, odor. Or, no, a strong scent. Strong scent. I'm gonna You're call so that nice. a strong scent. You're so nice. Strong scent. Uh, I did. Uh, I was with a girl many many years ago. Uh, foul. I didn't. I took two showers. Still didn't come off of me. Um, I know it's kind of gross, but 
Oh, patty cakes are starting. No, we'll there, scale it down. We'll scale week. it down for next week. Yeah, no, we'll we'll go back to something. We'll, we'll find fun. other little funny topics to talk about. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> we will, we will just sit and talk about the people around us. We yeah, will interview exactly. people. We'll give them some semi. We won't go this dirty. We'll give them some semi top. But this isn't really dirty. This no, is, but this is more. We'll get too personal uh, like this. This shit falling you know. all over the place over here. Is there the? Uh, so I, I, I like going down and check. Like you know, I yeah, <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> really you gonna after that? Long, is there shit breaking over no, here? No, it's me. Go. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm thinking my chair is about to give out. The oldest chair in the room right now. <laughs> ah. Outside uh, of the the alley memorial chair, which shall remain empty. <laughs> Uh, Patty Cake says she might be more crazy than us after a drink or two. Yeah, you know. Uh, well, she will have a microphone. So yeah, I told her she's gonna. Have... I will have the mute button. On the off chance that something happens. Yeah, we'll we get... have no seven second delay. <laughs> the right, only right. seven second delay is from from the time that it comes out of your mouth to the time that the person will will comment on it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's absolutely right, cap? Patty Cakes. Oh, dizzy as fuck. Yeah, we're running out of time. So, Are we running out of time? Just about. Uh, let me see one more question we got up. Uh, a whole bunch. Jeez, I wish. Um, Mark that page for for the next time. We're in the right. studio. We're in the studio and no one can slap us. <laughs> do you like... Oh, well, no, we talked about that one before. But, you know, we'll ask the audience. Uh, do you like to be naked? Um... Or are you shy about it? No, I don't. I know you don't. You you said something about you know emergency problems. Yeah, you know, if the, f- the house place catches on, on fire, you want to be able to get out. I'm running out with clothing. Yeah, save some for next week. I will. I will save that. I will. Uh, but yeah, seriously though, I I don't like sleeping in the nude because if something may happen. A mouse may crawl into your shorts. You never huh. know. Oh, Patty Cakes loves to be naked. Oh, jeez. you go. I can't go there. <laughs> going to go to the shanty bar, and that's all they're going to think yeah, about. Yeah, I know. She likes to be naked. She likes to be naked. Oh. There's going to be side boob everywhere. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to wear... Uh, you know what? You know what's going to happen, dude? All this is going to happen there, and, and you're going to be forced to do one thing. Look at me. You're going to have to look hey, at me. Hey, this. How's it going, man? Right? I'm not drinking. Oh shit! Does that sound mean it's over? That is. Wow. So that's hard number nine. Our house band with uh, with the uh, end credits. Don't say it's over. And that's what I'm always thinking constantly. Don't say it's over so quickly. I'm sleeping in the nude now. So oh jeez. Oh. Right. I have to bang my head off this table now. Yeah. Right. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna break this bottle of Jesse. No, right on you skull. can't do that. It's pretty thick. And I'd have drunken mice. I'll probably though. knock myself on co- a cold. First. Oh yeah, you did this dry thud, and yep. that's it. So we'll go home and have wet dreams now. <laughs> oh. I'm dizzy enough. You got to send me off with that, don't you? Well, if I'm not having a wet dream, you're having a wet dream. <laughs> Somebody's having a wet dream, I'll tell you that much. And if you're hearing us, you must be listening to the Wicked Pisser Show. I'm Byron. And I'm Bumper giving you enough not to have a wet dream. Oh. Yeah, have a good night, folks. Thank you very much. You've been listening to a Studio 5 production.
You're listening to the Wicked Pisser Show. If you're not listening to us, you don't know what the fuck you're missing.